Oh my God, you so are right. I am the most important. Um, I'm Paige. <clears throat> I'm uh, Ladovka, of course, because that's the family name. Um, obviously, I'm the best one here, even according to my teacher. And really, I this is my entourage. And. <laughs> How about that? There. Now yeah. I think I've got it. Oh. You know, that really ruins my introduction, but that's fine. I can just do it a second time. Um, so, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the second of our live streams with our Dory shenanigans. Uh, we're running for the same two charities as before. Uh, this is part two, which is uh, of this arc, Pathfinder Society Scenario 410. Uh, I'm Tim, I'll be your GM, and I was alphabetically introducing all of the characters in order of importance, so we've just heard about Paige, which I think everybody actually managed to hear. I think so. Okay, so then we'll move Insert on. Insert hair flip, though. <laughs> um, uh, next up, I guess we'll do Ian. Oh, Ian is um, a potty... Um, Ravoyan noble who um, has taken up the Eldori sword. Um, she joined the Pathfinder Society to keep an eye on Nikto, who must have gotten his Eldori sword through illicit means and doesn't trust him, um, but um, has started to group. But this group keeps getting assigned to the same missions. She's not sure why. Um, but yes, we're. Um, Ayin is uh, a very haughty Eldori uh, sword lord who also. Um, Here's uh, things from her um, battle ancestors um, when she gets stressed out, which Nico um, continues to make fun of her about the most of the day. Okay. Uh, next we have Blackjack. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm not closing this on the other one. It's like amateur hour over here. It's too early in the morning. Ah, that's fine. Hey, guys! Yeah, great to see you again. Yeah, uh, I almost thought you guys were, were changing your, your like voicemail numbers and, and, and schedules on, on purpose, but nah, you'd never do that. You'd, you'd miss us entirely too much. So uh, that crazy little pyro 80 proof fill me in on what happened uh, last time around. So uh, KG and me, we're, we're all ready to go. Yeah, let's, uh, let, let's get out there and, uh, and find this skull at home. And, uh, yeah, you, you all get complimentary t-shirts. He's handing out t-shirts that have uh, uh, Zikra's uh, first final farewell world tour uh, printed on the front and back in uh, electric neon colors. And uh, he has a ball cap ready for her when she finally shows up. <laughs> uh, next up. Uh, he, is a, uh, oh, he is a halfling summoner uh, for anybody who's forgotten. And KG is his uh, uh, Eidolon, who is a construct who looks like a gigantic Eldery dueling sword floating there. Uh, then we have Nikto of Clan Verata, son of Klaatu. Ken's probably gone to do more uh, social media things. <laughs> he knows if he says both those names along with Verata, we're going to have a bad, bad time as Sam Raimi will invade our game and, you know, it's not stuff. There's Ken. Lighting up, no <laughs> audio. I suspect mic issues. He's clicking. Ken, would you introduce yourself? Certainly. Uh, my computer just uh, froze up and had to do a quick reboot. Uh, Nikto of the Clan Verata, son of Klaatu, is a Strix fighter who picked up an Eldori dueling sword after some uh, young punk decided that they didn't like the look of him uh, out in the, field, uh, out in the uh, Valley of Frozen Flames. It turns out that charging somebody with wings on an icy cliff... Uh, isn't exactly the smartest maneuver when you don't have wings yourself. 
uh, picking up the sword, he found it to be, uh, well, very nicely balanced, and uh, he wandered on over towards uh, other parts of Brevoy to get a little bit more training in it. And uh, bumped into Ain, who refers to him as a rat-eating feathered barbarian, uh, and Paige, and uh, Yevon at that point in time. And then after a while, he left their company, and they followed him out to Otari, where they dealt with a kobold infestation. And since then, they've been inseparable friends. Friends, yes. Uh huh, sure. <laughs> Not sure friends is the right term. Frenemies, maybe? <laughs> Definitely frenemies. The right term is not appropriate and polite company. <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of things are appropriate and appropriate. You know, the right company that's, you know. Okay. Um, next up, we have Valerie Ward's daughter. Uh, Valerie is the, the odd one out amongst the group, but she doesn't wield an outdoor uh, dueling sword, but she was kind of adopted into the group by a uh, uh, Nikto and the others for using a strange sword nonetheless. Uh, she's an Arcadian Thaumaturgian monster hunter. Um, had always dreamed of joining the society and has kind of fallen in on regular assignments with the group. She specializes in knowing a little bit of everything about everything and how to strike true. A guide our allies. And then last but not least, Yevin. Ah, uh, yes. I am... Yevon Lebedo, former instructor of the Dueling, Aldori Dueling uh, School in uh, Isia uh, of Brevoy. Uh, I am in. Uh, I act as the chaperone for this little uh, group of misfits. Um, and although my sword arm is not as strong as it used to be, I can still. Uh, inspire and instruct uh, these wonderful students to greatness. Uh, that is Yevin. And with We that... are great. And you're great too. You're awesome. Yes, you're all awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, with that, the group of you return to somewhere that you've been before, Nexus House in Quantium. It's like we've never left. Magical uh, automatic ice maker. I was I was told about. Come on, come on, come on! I I need cold drinks. Yevon is greatly looking forward to some tea this morning. Uh, like, as Long you Island open the door, iced. Hmm. Where's my token? That's not right. Huh. Seated at a table in front of you is uh, someone who uh, you generally recognize, um, Vashvatam Sebnet Sansercoat. <clears throat> she turns her head to you. Oh, good, good, you're all here. Welcome, good morning, everyone. Please come in, sit down. Uh, I have scones. And this time, um, no exploding Ories. Well, that is good. I wasn't a fan of that one. Oh, yes. I, you and me both, I, I say. <clears throat> Have the renovations gone? <clears throat> um, not, not too badly. Um, could use a couple extra hands, but uh, have some more pressing issues for you this morning. Um, I am sure you all remember Alarea, uh, one of Nexus Arc Lords. Um, you carried her around last time. She's like, well, you did do something. Carrying mostly. I think I did all the work, as I remember. Oh, yes, quite, quite. Uh, she's been going off on uh, about it. <clears throat> Anyways, that's right. Uh, I up and lost my head, but uh, everyone here has been so grateful in helping me put the pieces uh, of, of my brains back together. Um, I did remember why I lost it in the first place. We've been doing a little bit of work. Um... It's that research on true names. I just hit a breakthrough. Someone else wanted to get a hold of my work for something nefarious that no one... Well, we haven't figured out yet. Needless to say, uh, I didn't agree with my work being used for, for such negative things. Uh, I can't let other people get ahead, you understand? 
and I tried to lock away all my research by erasing memory of myself until the time was right to let my studies out. Yes, and now that her memories have been restored, it's likely that the rest of her research can be as well. That's where the group of you come in. We want you to take Alirea and go to her former manor, find the pieces of her research, and restore her true name before anyone else finds her old notes. Um, the, uh, the society leadership has a couple of things that they would very much like for you to do if you're up to it, and by if you're up to it, I mean you probably should. Uh, she hands you two letters. Uh, the first is a letter from Iando Klein. Uh, if anyone wants to read it out, then I don't have to. Greetings, Pathfinders. I wish to bid you good luck on your upcoming challenges. Your mission to aid Arclord Alrea is, of course, of paramount importance. There is, a, there is, however, a troubling aspect. If you haven't already, I soon you will soon learn that uh, her research concerns true names, a dangerous area of magical research, though one promising great power as well. Alrea's research has already shown its appeal as a target for those who would use it for twisted ends. Our night hag foe is but one of those who would steal that research, if given the opportunity. I need to convince Alrea of the severity of this danger and of the safety and security that we would that we could afford her research here in Skyreach. I would be incredibly grateful were you to secure an agreement with her to store her true name research in the vaults here in the Grand Lodge. Though we do not want to threaten the goodwill we've built, and that uh, you will continue building with her, please do your utmost to convince her to keep that research safe with us. Good luck, and stay safe out there. Yando Klein of the Vigilant Seal. Uh, there's a second letter from uh, Fola Baroon. Greetings, Pathfinders! I wish to bid you good luck on your upcoming challenges. Mission to aid Ark. Lord Alarea. Uh, you're much looking nicer. at the wrong one. You're looking at the wrong one. You're, you're, yeah, ah. that's the one I just read. Yeah, I was going to say, that sounded familiar already. Where is two? I don't see it. Uh, you should have uh, permissions the, for it now. In the uh, handouts, if you click where it goes, handout number two, Fulda Baroon's letter, you'll get her text. Ah, number two. All right. Oh. You just clicked on number one. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was me. I was, trying to, uh, I was trying to pop it out. I'm not actually sure how to ah, do that. Handout number two, full of Baroon's letter. Warmest greetings, Pathfinders. I hope my letter finds you all in good spirits once you've arrived in Quantium. I know you're all being sent out to help our new ally, Alarea. And don't like the new name. Should have stuck with the old one. And I want to wish you all the best of luck in restoring her to her former self. I write you now to request that you do whatever you can to prove that she can trust and rely on the Pathfinder Society's allies. As an Ark Lord of Nex, she makes a valuable ally for us, and I'd like us to be able to call on each other for aid in the future. You could help her recover as much of her research as possible. I think she'll be grateful and understand that we're an organization in which she can put her faith. As such, I trust you all to do whatever you can to build her faith in our society's competence. Even should fewer scraps of her research prove critical to restoring her, do your utmost to find every bit until she confirms she has it all. Yes, she does. That should properly demonstrate the society's skill and dedication. Best regards, Fola Baroon of the Envoys Alliance. <coughs> well, there you have it. Uh, everything that uh, you should need to do. Um, do you have any questions, Pathfinders? I'm assuming that since you're sending us, you're expecting people to contest the nature of her research or what we're trying to do. Uh, Alarea turns to you and says, Well, the beauty of being wiped from the memory of everyone around for months means that likely no one would have suspected the place was even empty. I expect most people just think it's a crazy wizard's house that's always been there, whose owner no one could remember. Frankly, I'm a bit disappointed that it'll lose that reputation now. I mean, what wizard doesn't want to be seen as so mysterious that no one even dare approach their home? <laughs> uh, I'm sadly too much of a public figure to keep that up, though, so I guess I'll just have to let it recover its prior reputation as Ark Lord Alarea's abode. Hmm. Uh, my dear Alarea, will you be needing a hand again this time? Oh, I would quite enjoy that. 
you did so well last time that, um, how could I refuse? Uh, it's the only way I'm going to get ahead. <laughs> ah, 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 that is so freaking mm. funny. She is so funny. You'll get to me every time. <laughs> he hits our funny bones. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she looks at Blackjack. Uh, sadly, mine's missing. And looks like all the groups as well. Where did you get such a garish sweatshirt? We we had these specially made. We got a hat for you too. We we knew you couldn't wear like a you know a t shirt or nothing like that. You know we we figured one of those you know reflective bracelets would just be insulting. So uh, yeah, we we got you a roadie hat. You sure, you don't want to stick with the name Zikris? Oh joy, can I try it on, please? Yes, absolutely. I thought you would never ask. Hey G, put it on her head. I, I'm sorry, I can't reach. That. And KG will put up and cut up. You, you want it like jauntily to the side, or you want it backwards, or or just like you know, kind of, kind of, you know, the standard. Hey, I'm a teamster, and I've been doing this for thirty years in the front way. Oh, it won't matter. Just any way that you think's appropriate. All right, give it, give it a little, give it a little, little tilt to the side, KG. Yeah, yeah, that looks badass. Yeah, I know exactly like where you should put that, but it's not safe for mixed company. <laughs> oh. No, no, dear, I've got this. And you see her eyes flare a brilliant red. All of a sudden, flames erupt from the, the roof of her skull, engulfing the hat. It turns into nothing more than ash. Oh, well. That is awesome pyrotechnics! Yes! You that do is that why on I you. love you so much. We, we got another box full of hats. If you can do that on cue, we have the makings of a great stage show. Oh. Uh, I think you found your soulmate, Paige. I, I believe I did. I love her. Well, unfortunately, I've used up my 8th level Disintegrate for the day, but if you have another box of hats, I'm sure I can focus more power. All right, well, you know, what, one show per day. We, we can get a rider in your contract. Need, like, all green M&Ms in a bowl, too? We can do that. Uh, is there anybody else here who has any actual questions? Yes, uh, on a scale of uh, one to trapped, how trapped is your uh, abode, do you think? Well, you have a nods. Uh, I, I mean, I am an exceptionally powerful wizard, so there's all kind of magic in the manor. But don't worry, I haven't let all that power go to my head. Well, where so, else would it go? No, that, that that one was funny. You've been around him. <laughs> <way too long. laughs> ah! Yes! Yes! we are going, girl! You got it! Get those I, I'm, I'm due for one every few months. <laughs> anyway, I don't really expect any of that it. to be too much trouble to any of you. Since all memory of me was erased until recently, I suspect it's just been abandoned all this time. The only thing I would worry about if someone tried to break in there during all the time. There might be one or two of my magical defenses active, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Especially with how magically warded I made sure to keep the place. Sounds good, thank you. You didn't have any, any magical gardenings in particular? Uh, <laughs> If I could remember it all, I would let you know. I'm sure when we get closer, there's wards. I mean, there, there's some traps. I'm sure that it's what you would what expect. Um, it's where I did my research. I mean, a lot of the traps there probably aren't even intentional, to be fair. And it's not like magic will be going all over the place unless somebody went and started to let loose all the stored magic all over the place. Who would be so foolish? Am I right? Yeah, let's, let's go under the assumption that someone went in and let loose all the magic everywhere. Nikto we'll, uh... just looks. Nikto just looks for a window in the direction just to see if there's a giant scything pillar of magical energy going up into the sky. And... Uh, looking outside, you notice several of these. However, you are in Quantium, so it doesn't actually seem that far out of place. Hmm. So if somebody had, we would have no way of knowing. Wonderful. Mm. Um, however, with journal, that... This is the 13th adventure where we've been told this should be a simple and straightforward mission with no complications. Perhaps this time it will finally be true. Uh, anyone... If I get another one, I fill out my stamp card. Ooh. <laughs> you get a set of steak knives. And a free sandwich. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Coffee is for closers. Uh, if anyone would like, you can attempt a blind arcana or society check to recall knowledge to see what you know about arc lords. Sure. <laughs> Connor to side. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go 
here. Skills. Let's see if this works this way. Two, three, four, five. I wouldn't expect Paige to know anything. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was that a dig? I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to you having people for that. I do normally have people for that, but I've, I've given them the day off. Every once in a while, they do deserve some free time. That's what you guys are for. Uh, so, <laughs> with that, uh, we'll see. Uh Yevon and uh, yeah, it unfortunately doesn't know a, a whole lot. Everyone else is sort of trying to get up front to impress Alarea. Um, and you recall that many Arc Lords are involved in politics. Uh, they are known to have a tradition of being overly cautious with their living spaces, covering them with wards, alarms, and many kind of magical defenses to keep themselves and especially their research secrets safe. Uh, from this, you think that maybe Alarea was uh, understating the potential hazards. Uh, excitingly, Valerie, um, you know, you've heard that many Arc Lords were highly specialized in specific schools, uh, although you can't recall which one was Alarea's. Uh, you've also heard that she has a penchant for puzzles and puzzle-based traps. Ooh. Hmm. Puzzles. Don't let Nico do those. <laughs> That's what you get for having dubious knowledge. Yeehaw. So she's into politics. We should do one of those Rock the Vote charity concerts. Yevon is not that skilled. We'd have to find a singer. Uh, I mean, I can do come the on. lecture. Yes. You would just tell us that we're doing it wrong. That's not much of a concert. Well, then do it right, and we can impress the crowds. Well, um, before you all go, don't forget to grab some of your supplies that I'm sure that you won't need. And uh, uh, <laughs> Bash Batom uh, Sensor Coat sort of rolls her eyes a little bit. <clears throat> uh, Alarea says, no, they've got me. They don't need any extra stuff. Exactly. Um, unless you have an intellect potion for that one, and sort of nudges her head towards uh, Blackjack. I mean, uh, how many of those scones can we take as our free consumable? I could, I could seriously eat like three plates of those raspberry ones. Mm. Um, th those weren't raspberries. What did uh, I just eat? Uh, you see, Alarea starting to chuckle. Oh, she got me again! Oh, wow, prankster two. If, if you tell me that you you can do like dry ice and light effects behind the show, I will marry you right now. I can't do those things. I mean, why would you threaten her like that? Yeah, I didn't say she'd have to marry both me and KG. That'd be weird. That that's only legal in like you know a few. This is you know, getting weirder the more you talk. <laughs> Why don't we go? Besides, I think we should all in go. A proper civil... Besides, in a proper civilized culture, Alria would be asking you to marry her, because obviously her wealth transfers down the, down the matriarchal line. Well, yeah, I'm just telling her I'd say yes in advance, so she wouldn't have to feel you know, awkward about asking. I do want her to sweep my off my feet, though, when it comes to it, though, my hairy little feet. Uh, as Yevon starts moving towards the door, Alria casts haste and says, go! Go, go! Hey, come back! <laughs> Fly, you fools! At that point, Nikto stretches his wings and leaps off the stairs. Um, with that, Alirea does give you some directions to her former manor, which is on the outside of the city. It takes you about half an hour to arrive, so unfortunately, uh, haste does wear off by that point in time. Uh, when you reach the manor, you see both its unusual shape and signs of active magic within. Each of the two floors is about 15 feet tall, while a small section of the southern Zealand rises above into a tower shape, another 40 feet above the second floor. 
Flashing multicolored magical lights shine through the windows, and energy visibly pulses out from the building, seeping into the surrounding areas. You see, Pathfinders? You see? My manor was once filled with numerous magical experiments. To keep it safe from thieves and intruders, I had it covered in wards, keeping all the magic sealed within its walls. Someone, or more likely, something, is broken inside, and several of those wards seem to be shattered. Quickly now, get me inside. It's safe to enter the building for, for now, uh, but if too many more of the wards are compromised, uncontrolled magical energy could surge out into the city streets. People could die if we let that happen. Valerie's uh, going to draw her sword and shoulder it. She's like, I knew it. Best not to make a scene. Um, For the people who die are not us, unless it's Nico. Paige also draws her sword. Um, you walk inside. Draws... In front of you is an no? uh, elegant foyer with a statue set against the far wall. Um, the, the, uh, the western wall of this elegant foyer displays a statue of Nex covered in a wide array of multicolored runes. Several other runes and lines of magical energy seem to originate from other parts of the house, coalescing into a strange magical circle at the statue's base. The left hand holds a staff that lights up in apparently random sequences of color. Glowing runes on the rest of the walls shimmer, spin, and spill out into adjoining rooms. Flashes of mystical lights going off in other parts of the house are visible underneath the doorways. A deep thrumming sound can be heard throughout. The source can't be identified. Um, Alirea's eyes start to glow a vibrant red uh, and flash in disbelief. Oh, goodness. It's worse in here than I thought. I don't think I can permanently repair the wards here without significant time and a look at my old notes. However, my statue of Nex is supposed to be the focal point, as well as being a lovely bit of decor, if I don't say so myself. Um, glancing at Paige. So if you place me over there on top of it, I should be able to keep the magical bleed from getting any worse. That'll buy you some time to look around and find out what you need. Uh, but be careful, Pathfinders. I suspect with how deliberate this damage is that it may be uh, someone may be waiting for you. Um, hmm. I remember oh. that I keep backup copies of some of my more important notes of my true name research all around the manors, hidden by magic and defenses that only I had keys to surpass. It's likely that this damage to the wards has been done to reveal this research. Thankfully, that shouldn't deactivate the rest of the defenses I put into place, which was hopefully enough to scare our thieves off. Uh, but that means that, well, whatever they didn't manage to overcome, I'm afraid you'll all have to do so. I no longer have my relics to deactivate my defenses, and it would take more time than we have to make new ones for each room. I'm counting on you all to find whatever notes you can and make your way upstairs, but don't fret if one of the challenges seems impossible. I'm still a highly skilled wizard. Um, I put my notes together in such a way that not every single part is needed to piece the research back together. Oh, and feel free to take any useful items you find. You can even keep them. After all, uh, they're not exactly going to be any good in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This place is awesome. So, we have so got to do a show here. So I have a question for you. The layout here looks very similar to the Grand Library in Absalom. Actually, um, I did model it off of something a little bit different. I modeled it off of the Black Rose Museum. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I may be done here. I'm sorry. This is like the Black Rose Museum. Uh, oh, sorry. no, they at, seem familiar. At, oh. at which time did this seem like a good idea? I, I'm just curious at what point in history that ever seemed like a good idea. Well, if someone can just drop me on the statue, please. I do not have control over the skull. Otherwise, yes. Given the... Uh, carefully places. <laughs> uh, with that, her eyes flare. The two doors to the manor close and lock. Well, that will help us with a little bit more commitment, won't it? Sure, if we're going by horror, horror rules. <laughs> well, it's best some of these... Uh, he spares a glance at Nikto. Uh, might turn tail and run. Oh. <laughs> and Nikto, is, Nikto is already looking at Paige, who is the one who's uh, is already looking at Paige, and then at Valerie, who's closest to the doors. <laughs> hmm. I'm oh, covering her rear. I, this is what I do. I'm as close to the door as you are, so you might want to turn that glance somewhere else. That's weird. I don't know why I can't see the skull on the stream.
If we're going by horror rules, we'll be right back! Uh, you know, uh, I, I think that that's just the uh, skull using their uh, privacy spell. Yeah, apparently. That's why you can't see them on the stream. Well, there is supposed to be a skull right there. I don't know why it's... I think everyone else is seeing it, right? Yep. Just, yep. Is it just yep. the stream account that can't see it? That's super weird. <laughs> Assets loading. That's super weird. Well, let me try this. Now we can't see the skull. Yeah, I just deleted the skull. <laughs> no! Bring her back! Big girl skull. That's a neat trick. <laughs> Bigger. And I still can't see it on the stream. It's super weird. Her true naming magic was so powerful she erased herself from the minds of the streamers. I'm just saying that when you when you pivot her a little bit, it's it's a little creepy. Pivoting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Spinning heads. <laughs> I feel bad because all the people on the stream are missing out on the joy. <laughs> Theater of the uh, theater of the mind. Yeah. So, awesome mascot for a heavy metal band. Uh, so, your grace, you wouldn't happen to have a set of keys to these doors here? Uh, she's like, you now you need to understand that uh, uh, it's slightly difficult to control all of this. And you know, where would she keep it? The key. Yeah. It's not like well, she's to, carrying a purse. Well, to be fair, it would be a skeleton key. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, her eyes flare at the bad magic. The doors. <laughs> she's like, they're unlocked now. You may go. You see? I was right. <laughs> uh, mm. You enter into a small hallway. There are stairs going up, uh, as well as an entrance to a much larger room to the west. Mm. Nikto will uh, go down here and say, let's go check this door. He will uh, listen at it, see if there's anything creepy going on on the other side. If there is not, uh, he will step aside so that uh, Paige can uh, go do her thing with locks. You said it was locked? Okay. Uh, there is no visible lock on this door. Uh, I, I look at Nikto and go, um, maybe you should get your eyes checked. There's nothing for him to unlock here. Sorry. Oh no, no, it was going oh, to maybe. open in front. It was going to open out of the, out of your sheer charm and personality. But since uh, that's lacking this morning. Hmm. Damn. Oh, that's. What I happened. think you're as charming as ever, Paige. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, oh, hey, the skull so is there now. You. uh... You open the door, and uh, it is definitely a bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, look, you're right where now you should be. Now we know where be. that is. No. <laughs> you just stay there. <laughs> Not to be gross, but we should probably search every nook and cranny. Paige, he probably doesn't know what that is. He's never used that's one before. That's fair. <laughs> A following day, Paige. Uh, Paige. You, you find the, saying, other the scrub bathroom. brush in there is not used for what you think it's used. By the way, uh, somebody has actually shut the door and locked it on this. <laughs> <laughs> it was not I. It was definitely Paige. <laughs> As in on the map, the uh, door icon. Well, there it goes. Okay. Now we lock it. <laughs> oh, this oh. door at the end. Uh, can I see a lock at the end of the hall? Uh, it seems like that door itself is just straight sealed up. Alright. This is a, uh, bell end, Obviously. it seems. Uh, and Yevin will enter into the greater room. 
Um, in front of you is a display room containing numerous magical weapons, jewelry items, tomes, crystals, and other baubles. Um, to the north and the south ends of the room, there are uh, eight separate items, seven of which seem to be surrounded by a blue orb with lines of electricity running across it. On top of the cabinet furthest to uh, the, uh, the north is a charred and unrecognizable item uh, lying in place. Uh, of one of the other orbs. Um, anybody who is trained in Arcana automatically recognizes that the uh, runes around here are shielding runes and warding spells. Duh. Lots of abjuration, but what's happened to that uh, charred one? Hey, Paige, I dare you to lick one of those glowing blue uh, orbs. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm not stupid. You should go do it. You have a bird brain, right? Uh, yeah, Yevon is going to take a look at the weapons in the in the room. Are any of them within the orbs, or <clears throat> uh, they all seem to be around? Uh, so this one here seems to be destroyed, but there are seven other items. Nikto will, will go down here, look at Ain, who is being suspiciously quiet this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what's what's in this one? Uh, that is just a central uh, a central pillar. Uh, it's just sort ah. of a covered overhead. Uh, it, it doesn't look as important, but it's just sort of like a, a covered overhead um, uh, a stand, um, and it seems that there's magical energy focused in the center. Uh, but anyone who would like to take a look at any of the uh, any of the wards can roll a blind Arcana, Nature, Occultism, or Religion check. Mm, all right. Man, it's so weird playing a character with skills. Uh. Ain and Paige, um, taking a look at it, uh, you realize that all of these could be disabled uh, using a thievery check uh, to bypass the wards. Paige? Sure. Uh, um, I'll do I'll do the one in front of me. Uh, that's the destroyed um. one. So, oh. Here, I will. Uh, Nikto is standing next to Ain and uh, just sort of hands her the uh, uh, the repeating hand crossbow, uh, sheathes his sword, and reaches out and pulls out his uh, thieves tools. Uh, and um, uh, Nikto, why didn't you hand me this? Why don't you hand me the sword as well, just to be safe? <laughs> uh, so, Paige, uh, you go to the first one, and it seems like it should be easy. Um, you get shocked for four points of electrical damage. Oh. Ouch. All right. Um, but you may try to disable that cabinet again if you like. Um, and with that, you uh, angrily look at it, then realize you are sort of squinting at it backwards. You pop the cabinet open and retrieve a small amount of information. Um, you think that if you were to collect a couple of these, you might be able to piece together some of her research. Uh, yeah. Nikto will try this on the cat in front of him. Um, Nikto, you managed to uh, pop open a second cabinet, having seen what Paige has done. Uh, disable can be rolled openly, right? Oh yeah, I guess it should be able to. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I just rolled it uh, privately for my own Oh, I promise More you'll know if you I fail don't. or critically fail. Uh, so it seems like you've opened up two of the cabinets. Not quite enough information to go back to Al Alarea and, and tell her anything yet, but... And if you'll move the next cabinet down, uh, let's Paige, see for the Yelp from Paige if she goes first. Uh, you managed to pop it open, um, gaining a little bit more knowledge. Okay. Uh, uh, Nikto you get zapped for four points of damage. Mm -hmm. Nikto. 
Uh, Paige, you open up a subsequent one. Everything I get, I hand to my teacher here. And then I'll go over and say, Oh, Nico, do you need some help? You seem to be struggling. Yeah. He <laughs> does. He does need some help. Uh, Nikto, you get zapped a second time. The artifact inside explodes. Uh, you take five more points of electrical damage. Okay. Nikto, no. stop touching. Yeah, what happens when you touch that's... things that aren't yours, Nikto? I will reroll that. Okay. Uh, Paige, you successfully get out another piece. Uh, you believe that you've got enough that you can piece together the research, but there is one more cabinet if you'd like to try. I'll stand here and look at KG and Blackjack, expectantly. It means move. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. That is definitely deserving of a reroll. Uh, with the reroll, you do manage to avoid um, the shock. It's almost like you wanted it to trigger. It shoots out towards Blackjack, um, who just absentmindedly gets out of the way. Uh, and you do manage to snatch the last piece. It seems like you've got uh, enough information that you uh, can piece together a little bit of uh, Alarea's research. Nikto, that's how you do it. You, you should really just let the professionals do it now. <laughs> they need to uh, yes. take a look at the central pillar just to see if there's anything to be learned from the magic there. Roll a blind perception check. Sure. Hold on. There we go. Uh, looking at the central pillar, you notice that some of the magic, the flaring in it, um, seems to have died down a bit. You feel like it was controlling some of the wards uh, that were protecting each of the these objects that you have now sort of retrieved and put back together into uh, a coherent uh, uh, melange of, of, of items and knowledge. And craters. <laughs> Very well. Craters definitely help. Uh, do we have enough to bring back to Alreja? Uh, you do believe that you've got enough that it would give her a little bit of knowledge. Shall we explore more of this uh, floor before we do so? Uh, um, yes, we have some, some didn't doors. Didn't you say and... to back with mm -hmm. her? We should probably do that. Did, Did she? I say, we, I say we explore first, then report. All the while, we'll cooperate. Good call. Uh, so Do you want to try those doors down there or north? Double doors to Sorry. the south, and it looks like there's a painting gallery to the north. The uh, Pathfinder manual says always go left, and this would be left. Mm -hmm. What's left? Ah, it looks like uh, somebody's office. Uh, you enter. The room here is completely bereft of windows, and it's lit by two magical orbs mounted on each wall. Two perfectly smooth crystal balls lie in the center of two large tables near the center of the room. Ah, the TV... Ah, the, the entertainment room. So, take a look. Oh... Other furniture in the room has been tossed, the shelves have been ransacked, and a pair of mirrors on the far side of the wall are shattered on the floor, revealing an empty indentation in the wall. Hmm. Someone got something. Mm -hmm. And based off of how they went through this, and the fact that they were unable to get that one warded item, they're not subtle about it. Um, on the table to, in, in the center, um, looking at it, uh, the crystal ball appears active, and you see the entrance foyer that, uh, you went through. Hmm. It's a security room. Yevon, Ain, what about this other crystal ball? Can you turn it on? Uh, anyone who's trained in Arcana, Occultism, Nature, or Religion can attempt mm -hmm. to interact with either of the crystal balls. 
I, I, I will try. Uh, are you looking at the one in the table or the one uh, that uh, is inactive? The one that's inactive. Uh, looking at the one that's inactive, you hold it, and after a couple of seconds, you see the uh, the Starstone Cathedral um, come into view. It seems like there's actually people, like this is sort of a live view. You also feel like if you interact with it further, you could see additional scenes for, for some reason. I'll take a look some more. Um, the channel focusing uh, the, the vision inside the crystal ball shifts. You see Leipstadt University. Focusing again, uh, you start to see the husk beetle at Sothis, and it seems like these are all magically important sites that uh, for some reason seem to have magical sensors around them, and you can view through them. Hmm. Nixo would like to make an academia lore, having looked into these things, uh, to see if there's a pattern beyond just sensors, like a particular rooms, things like that. Uh, for the one that uh, Ayn was just looking at? Uh, yeah, looking yes. at it, you intuit that all the information here, there is some sort of magical sensor. It's it's kind of uh, it's kind of like an enhanced version of scrying that uh, you can sort of see through to things that uh, obviously the Ark Lord at one point found was kind of important. Ayn hmm. tilts her head and looks at Nikto and goes... I didn't even know you knew how to read. Hmm. Uh, Yevon the will. You're, you are blinded by your bigotry, as always. Uh, take a look at the crystal ball set for the interior. And so as you start to, to scroll through in a similar way, you start seeing other rooms. The rooms that you were just in, you sort of see um, the, uh, the one object still smoldering in the room behind you from uh, your failed attempt to disable the ward. Uh, scrolling through again, you see uh, an image of the uh, the painting gallery to the north. Scrolling through again, you see what looks like uh, an outdoor uh, statue garden. And then all of a sudden, you start hitting rooms that are dark. Uh, seemingly, the sensors have been destroyed. Uh, going through, you sort of uh, for lack of a better way to term, scroll through the, the crystal ball for another uh, 10 or 11 rooms before you get back to the entrance hall where Alarea seems to be focused on uh, holding things together. That is concerning. So, with academia lore, would I be able to go, hmm, she said this is based on the Black Rose Museum, so the Black Rose Museum is laid out like this, this, and this. Can we find the rooms that the sensor, that the eternal sensor does not see? Because that might be a good hint as to where things are that perhaps people don't want seen. It seems like all the sensors at the second and higher floors are the ones that are missing. The ones on the, the, the lower floor seem to still be intact. Hmm. I'm going to go out into the main chamber and look for where that uh we'll look for where that sensor is probably at based off of the point of view that we've got um do you have any sort of spell that would allow you to see invisibility absolutely not <laughs> um so you find where the sensor probably is located but you really can't tell yeah let us uh Go Should check this north gallery uh, yes. for any more of the information our good Ark Lord may have stored mm -hmm. or stashed. Uh, Nico, this is called art. You might, uh, might so have heard of it. Entering Don't the damage area, it. Uh, Paige feels kind of at home in here. The walls are covered in paintings. Uh, looking at them, you see creatures organized beneath signs that list the names of each of the outer planes. Uh, many of the paintings here seem to have been moved or turned crooked, taken off the shelf as if the rune had been thrown into disarray. Um, at the far north end of the room, um, there's a section labeled Maelstrom lying on the floor, with one side of the frame broken off. Hmm. Uh, Paige will slowly adjust paintings as she goes through. Uh, as Yevin starts to walk across the room, you see a bright flash of light as several creatures emerge from the painting. 
Oh god. And uh, with that, can I get everyone please to roll for initiative? Alright. Although I will grab Blackjack. And... Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Before everybody, before you roll to initiative, I have fucked these arms. things before. Call to arms. Give me a second. I have to give myself focus points because, you know, reasons. Coffee. Um, yeah, coffee. Uh, yeah, Tim. Yes. Uh, Valerie has encountered these things before, well, then, and they oh. are in her book. If that's Ooh. happened before, can I talk about them? Um, sure, why not? Okay. Spell effect. Called arms. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Valerie will uh, quickly say, those are uh, Akazendri. They change their defenses based on what element you hit them with. Ah, so and Paige is not going. To... Page... <laughs> the element is a surprise. Yes, clever. Um, Paige is not going to like them. What am I not going to like? I'm sorry. Uh, it's that... very hard to find a, a place to stab them. Oh. They don't, mm. they, they don't have kidneys. They do. They just kind of move them. <laughs> <laughs> so, first up, Yevon. Uh, Yevin is surprised by, um, the sudden appearance of these creatures, uh, but not so much that he can't, uh, give out uh, some inspiring words. Be, um, uh, Ayn has said to arms, and, uh, Yevin will say, uh, victory formation, um, I don't have He'll down on the ball? There. <laughs> Surround me, I'm the most important. Uh, my, that, I believe, is a critical success. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be an Inspire Courage for four rounds. And there is, in fact, a macro for that in the Compendium, in the compendium pack. So, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can just do uh, this instead. Mm -hmm. uh oh get the aura nice um so that was the first action these for his second two actions uh he will then um start cursing the one on the left um just in the common tongue but will cast a blistering invective and be a stay back foul creature uh, you're too ugly for this world Uh, it doesn't seem to understand your language, but... Um, so that is unfortunately a critical success. Alas. Uh, that ends my turn. Um, however, you did manage to attract its attention. Uh, it's going to come over to you. And it's going to attempt to bite you. Oh. Uh, you take 38 points of damage. Ooh, and I need teacher. you to make a, a will save. Uh... Okay. Uh, you feel... Your, your brain fills up with thoughts. And you're like, oh, this would have been a much better way to communicate with this creature. Uh, it well, pretty then... colors. Pretty colors. Uh... It will then lash out with its tail. Uh, attempting to bop you, but you sort of stagger backwards and that misses. Blackjack, you're up. Alright, so I get the sneaking suspicion these things don't like doing their homework either. Um, G formation doesn't seem the best idea right now, so... Let's go ahead with, we'll move together, and then we'll try and shoot that one up front with a telekinetic projectile. 
Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, as far as he can get. I'll get to there, and then we'll shoot at this one. Come on. Uh, why is it not doing? Uh, you have it set on blind GM roll. Oh, I see. All right. And we'll try and hit him with a with yeah, there's something blunt laying around this place. Uh, that will critically hit him. Uh, Sweet. Blackjack picks up one of the portraits and smashes it over the creature's head. Ah! For 16 Angel points of damage. Be, yeah. uh, well, it would be doubled to 30. 32. Oh, right, 32. Uh, the creature is staggered as you hit him with uh, uh, a little bit more than words. <laughs> and then, the turn. Valerie, you're up. All right, Valerie's going to try and exploit weakness on that this one right here. Okay. It's going after her. Wow, that is a failure. Nope. All right, so I put a personal antithesis on it, which uh, she takes the holy symbol of a lawful god, puts on her weapon. She's going to move here, and she's going to attack this one. Okay. Um, that will just hit. Roll damage. Okay. Um, four enough that the creature bursts into ethereal energy and seems to be sucked back to, uh, the maelstrom. Um, seeing that happen, um, this one is going to come rushing forward. Uh, I'm going to implement interrupt him when he moves there. Okay. That's that, what I like to see. That'll critically hit. Uh, he, I does it interrupt his movement. Yes, my thing interrupts, so he his action ends there. Uh, what is your range? Uh, it is ten feet. I guess it starts on the the edge of it. Um, so yeah, that'll yep. hit it. You you sort of stagger the creature. Uh, for its second action, it will step forward, and its third action, it's upset. It's going to bite you. Yep. Uh, missing. That'll end its turn. Nikto, you're up. All right. Nikto is going to move up to here. Just to get the flat footed on that thing. And is going to attack. That'll critically hit. Oof. And casually and with casually and with grace just sort of slight walks in and flicks the blade around and its head just lies on the ground right between the two of us and you have one action remaining i do and i am going to pull out the repeating uh, the repeating hand crossbows already in my hand and i am going to go and shoot the next one that's going to move draw it towards me which is going to be that one i believe yes it is uh, strikes repeating hand crossbow uh, second action that's probably gonna miss uh, no, oh no that hits. exactly hits uh, for nine and pass turn uh, the creature will come forward to you. It will attempt to take a bite out of you. And will attempt a second time. Uh, unfortunately, with the uh, the crossbow bolt lodged into its jaw, it is unsuccessful. Paige, you're up. Mm -hmm. Would you say that this is a legal square? 
just has damaged painting in it. <laughs> can't make it worse. But I can't get there. So... Yeah, double move. It, it's just a double move. Yeah. 30. You're, you're running into the fact... Ah, there. Well, there we go. No, I, I was walls. determining if I wanted to take the second move or get the attack. <clears throat> Uh, you had your sword out, so... I did. Uh, unfortunately, a 17 is a miss. I forgot to target him. That's okay. Uh, the second one will take a step up towards Paige. Yep. And it will attempt to bite with its jaws. That will be a crit. <clears throat> it sinks into you for 22 uh, points of damage, disappointed as you are at hit missing the first one. And I need you to make a will save. Uh, you are stupefied. Okay, dog. And then it'll try and thwack you with its tail. And miss. Pain, you're up. Mike, you might be muted. Yeah, um, no, I'm not muted. Can you hear me? Now we can. Mm -hmm. Now we can. Uh, um, our swords were or were not out? Were. Ours were. Were. Okay. Wait, it's a personal right? decision. <laughs> it is. You we can't are, tell you however, what to do with your sword. Yeah. You yeah. are, however, wandering around a magical, uh, uh, a magically warded place that has exploded and already tried to kill you, so yeah. it would be reasonable to have your swords out. Yeah, and so, it like um, what, and it looks like the Black Rose Museum, so that's practically the dress code. Yes, <laughs> um, I will, uh, wade into the fray, not knowing any better, and I will, um, I will come in to strike this one, because, but as the ancestors are talking, my battle ancestors are talking to me, and that's what they're telling me to do, even though it's probably not the best. But uh, hey. Your battle ancestors, uh, guide you to no wrong. Yeah. And the one in front of you? Uh, yes. You cut through, just streaking across its chest. It's oozing <laughs> out this sort of blood that's just burbles in an oddly strange way. The creature turns its head towards you, seething with rage. And uh, that was two moves, because it was just past my 30-foot movement and uh, a strike. And that's my turn. Yevin, you're up. Oh, my head. Uh, <laughs> Yevon is going to stride opposite of Paige and make his own strike. Uh, come here, students. We can work together. Uh, that'll hit thanks to Paige's distraction for 16 points of damage, nearly maxing it out. You have one action um, remaining. Then remember to keep your defenses up, toes high. Uh, flat check to cast shields, and that fails. Uh, no, uh, oh, stupefied is, is it four five plus one? Five plus one. level. Okay. Yeah. Uh, blackjack, confused by Yevon's lack of shield, it's your turn. Yeah, I, I don't understand a lot of the, the lessons he... Oh, these guys are awesome, so he must be doing something right. Uh, so let's see. Act together by giving you a move and also cast boost idle on at the same time. Let's throw that up. And then we'll let, uh, take that again. And then we'll tell him to get him, KG. Try and headbutt him, headbutt him with the pointy end, and forgot to target. That'll hit. No sure damage. Hit or not? Okay. Thanks to the sword being inspired by your words, it does manage to stab true. Nice. And then we'll try the pommel butt smash, aka twerking. <laughs> PG can twerk. Uh, yes, that'll hit PG as well. Can definitely twerk. 
As you bludgeon the creature into non-existence, it's impressed by the chaotic nature of the sword. <laughs> it smiles like it's been... Yeah, working. KG, you tell him! Valerie, you're up. All right, Valerie is going to move there. She is going to strike at it. She's going to strike at it again. Just feeling the need to let Nikto finish the creature off. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Nikto will uh, give Paige a look through the hole that Ain made in this thing's uh, central torso. Smile and do this. Stab it right hit on a three. Flick <laughs> Paige, Paige arches an eyebrow at you. Yes. Poor form, poor form. <laughs> Do better. Four maximum oh. damage. <laughs> oh, he's chopping with it like a meat cleaver. My God. <laughs> Finesse. Finesse. It is, it is quite obvious you have not been trained in that sword properly. Uh, moments later, the uh, stupefied wears off. <laughs> well. So apparently the apparently some detect magic in this room might be worthwhile amongst those of you who uh, have regathered your wits. Sure. Uh, and this whole room is just this whole building is filled with magic. Uh, you feel oh, like you're yep. not going to get any real sense off of any detection of magic anywhere in this building. Literally, Literally everything magical. lights up like a Christmas tree, except Blackjack. <laughs> Naturally Christmas tree-like. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyone who would like to look around more conventionally, uh, feel free to roll a blind perception check. All right. Me attempting anything to, uh, smell off. Uh, this is... I'm hey, trying to hey, help. Sorry, what are you trying to say? One person at a time, please let Shannon speak. <laughs> and I fail. Obviously, my heart wasn't in it. Mm -hmm. Or you were trying to, or you were trying to uh, you patch up Nikto. Sure. That's a, that's sure. the story. Okay. Um, so I will say that with that role, uh, Valerie, looking at the back of the painting, you do notice uh, some pieces of, of notes, and you surmise that looking around. Uh, behind other pictures, you might be able to find enough. It seems like not all the pictures were disturbed and the uh, whoever was looking around here was a little bit rushed. Okay. Um, Nikto, you start going around some of the paintings and it's quite obviously, quite obvious immediately that uh, which ones are the right ones. And Blackjack, with your role, you notice this painting in particular seems uh, most interesting. Ooh. Let's take a closer look and not use this one to beat somebody to death. Mm -hmm. And uh, while you guys are doing the poking around with magic stuff, Nikto is going to attempt to bandage the uh, the burns that he got from playing with magic the last time. That is going to be a success. And one, two. And I'm back up to full hit points. Uh, so, Blackjack, with uh, this picture down here, what would you like to do? Hmm. Well, uh, just that it's, it's just particularly interesting, right? Um, it's cool. 10 feet on each side, and it's labeled Illusion Garden. And what do I That's see in this picture of an Illusion Garden? It looks like an illusion garden. Huh. Anything? It, it does it, it. It just looks like a painting, or does it look like it's moving, like it's magic somehow? Or uh, would you like to inspect it? I... <laughs> sure, absolutely. Uh, you reach forward to touch the painting, and uh, huh? With that. Oh! 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 Yeah, love it. KG, you got to try this. 
Nico is coming up just to reach. Nico is about to come on up and just you know reach over kid over blackjack. Take my head it, back but... through the painting, guys! Come I... on through. You this can't awesome. stick your head back through the awesome. painting. You're welcome to try. Oh, man, uh, you end up. This is amazing. Uh, you end up in uh, a garden. Um, in the center of the garden, there's several statues of uh, an adult Gurundi woman all over, of varying aging, uh, ages displayed, each with a plaque describing an important event. Um, in the center, there seems to be a key one. As you start to walk towards it, however, um, it seems to be a little bit strange. Um, all around you, passages seem to take further and further distance. Um, so we're now into a skill challenge. Um, it mm. seems like you're stuck into some sort of uh, like a, a magical maze. In front of you, you notice that the central statue seems to start to descend into the ground with a grinding noise. Um, there's not much time. Uh, if you'd like to try and figure out how to get close to the statue, it'll be uh, Arcana, Occultism, Survival, um, or the illusions walls in front of you. You can just use athletics and try and bust through it, uh, or perception, or a will save to disbelieve and briefly see. Hmm. So, uh, I can write in the the checks that are valid. Yeah, everyone eight. will get. Uh, everyone can roll two two of these checks because uh, it's effectively two rounds worth of stuff. We roll them in a row, or are we gonna do it round by round? Uh. I'm totally fine with you rolling your two checks. We can sort of go in order because it doesn't really matter. Everyone gets an attempt. So why don't we start with Ain? What two things would you like to do to try and get through the maze? Um, the ones that I can actually do. So I will just try to blunt force in. Hey. Uh, with that athletics check, that is a success. Yeah. So. Right. You manage to bust down one of the walls. It's kind of interesting to watch. Ainge. There's like this physical wall of force and just smashes the shoulder through, uh, gets closer to the center statue. Yep. Uh, manages I'll do it to again. Do it twice. Just shoulder it in. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, Blackjack. Sure, I know magical theory. Absolutely, I do. I studied. Look at me like that. Open rolls. So. Uh, yep, that is a success, as you manage to uh, dodge your way around one of the fake walls. Yeah. And we'll try that one more time. And the second time. Wait. E Nick studied. Nico. Enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikto is going to look at Ain bouncing through walls and look at Blackjack uh, using Arcana and, you know, wiggling his fingers. And he's going to furrow his brow and just walk on up to the wall, poke it with a finger, and hopefully this will save will work. Uh, you place your hand on the wall as Ain busts through. Uh, a shock pushes back. You feel forced into place. Uh, unfortunately, that is not a success. All right. Well then, we're going to uh, be a little less subtle on the second try. Uh, so you just bust through the wall following behind Ain, and that one is a success. Paige. Mm -hmm. uh, Paige is just going to try to view it, because I don't really have any of those other skills. So she's going to try to perceive it. Or it will save it's the same number, so she'll try to disbelieve it. Saw everybody walk through, so clearly something's going on there. Uh, Paige's straight haughtiness, um, <laughs> just like this isn't real. Everyone walks right up to the statue, places a hand on it, and it stops its descent. As you have now hit the minimum number of points to succeed. That's how you do it again, Nikto. <laughs> we could talk about lessons later if you'd like. I could give you a discount. Uh, Nap! As the statue sort of stops receding, Paige, you do notice that there is a uh, a, a small compartment on the side. Uh, 
just from your sheer perception and knowledge of traps and thievery, you pop it open and there are is a folio of some pages. Ooh, I hand those to my teacher, my trusted teacher. Uh, so it seems like you have three pieces of uh, uh, three pieces of uh, of research uh, that you've recovered. Uh, behind you, you see the wall shimmer, and it looks like you can pass through once again. Mm. Well done. Uh, while we're out here, where there's some uh, fresh herbs, I'm going to uh, patch up uh, Yevon. Oh yes, mm. my cousin does look hurt. Uh, yes. Oh, I didn't even notice he was hurt. I'm sorry. I could have given you That's medicine that... earlier. Uh, Nick, you, uh, you know, and you you know what? I'm going to burn a hero thoroughly. point. I, I, no, I'm going to re-roll that using a hero point because I know there's a lower number on that die roller. And I don't think is there worth... is actually. Uh, I'm certain that uh, I'm certain that with Tim's fine coding assistance that uh, that, that uh, roll twenty has gotten to the this that foundry has gotten to the point where it can roll imaginary numbers on a d20. The secret nega dice. Fool! Don't divide by zero! <laughs> <laughs> well, how else will we get uh, your pages wit and charm? I mean, if you'd like, there's also this you can use. Ah. You know, you're just, you're so, you're so cute. It's, it's ridiculous. Kind of like my dog back at home. Uh, he also chases his tail for entertainment, so you could try that. <laughs> mm, thanks. Uh, Yevon is less than appreciative at Nikto's. <laughs> Justin, you could take two of my healing potions if you'd like. Uh, I'll I'll have one if you're offering. Sure. And Paige I, will also the, give her teacher one. Yeah, my school items were too minor, so you just get one d eight. So click one. use in your inventory, and it'll roll it. Did you put it in your inventory? I I thought I think I dragged it in, but I'm not sure. Let me check right now. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Click use. Well, that's a little better. bit better. I, I don't know how to give one of mine to him. How do I do that? Do I just take it off just, of my sheet? I, I just use it on my sheet and I did it. Just click use and it'll roll it and I can heal myself. Mind you, uh, Paige is also slightly injured. Would you like me to patch your wounds? No, I already did medicine. It hasn't been an hour, I'm not sure. Oh, and then I hit the use button. Is that yes, right? Yes, it's yours. Okay. Sorry. Oh, Much thank better. You both. Yes. Uh, should we stop by our uh, Archelor our friends? Yes. 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 Oh, there's a handy dandy door right here. Yes, and we don't want to get ahead of the game. Uh, you open it. Corner. You see uh, uh, Alirea, the skull. Uh, it feels like you've been doing something out there. Uh, found a bunch of notes. And we found your your super cool security room that has scrying sensors all over the world. Uh, and uh, makes it easy to you know, watch lectures all over the all over the place. Fascinating. Uh, I really like the statue in the garden. That was pretty awesome. She's like, listen, um, a little bit of a headache, a little bit tough here. Let me take a look at the notes. Uh, she looks at the three sets of notes. Um, I can almost piece together enough of what this all means. Then we go upstairs. By Which the way, the case walking, should we use? By the way, the sensors looking upstairs uh, were uh, have apparently been faltered or or have been removed. Mm. I remember that there used to be a sensor for each room. But uh, someone might have broken them, or it could just be that the magical protections have taken them out. Well, one way to find out. Well, where did you find all of these notes? Um, a painting gallery? Oh, sorry. 
Uh, Nikta will describe, uh, we found some in the painting gallery. We found some in the warded objects. Uh, and we found this last set of three uh, underneath a statue in your illusion garden. Uh, nothing in the divination room, then. No. That's concerning. Well, keep looking. There was a... Uh... A broken mirror with an indentation, and it was missing, so I imagine that whoever came here before us found it. Well, not to get ahead of the game here, people, but perhaps <laughs> if the notes are missing and there's a smashed up mirror, maybe the sensors have been intentionally disabled. I don't know. I'm not a pathfinder like all of you. I'm just a powerful wizard, but using the logical power of a little bit of deduction. I think that's where we're at, huh? Oh, for, uh, most most definitely, yes. I mean, since you're an I would all, say powerful you're not wizard, a, you're not a pathfinder yet. I'm sure we could find you a wayfinder once you have hands to, to carry one. And to be fair, the uh, Grand Lodge is a great place to run academic research. Mm -hmm. like, Lots since of people you're run all, and carry things for you. Since you're an all-powerful wizard, can you, like, you know, change the channel on those crystal balls in the other room to get something, like, a little more entertaining? You know, like, I don't know, movies, concerts, something like that? Or sports? The, uh, the Ark Lord <laughs> flares her oh, eyes. Oh, no expanded TV package? Damn it. You are lucky she used her disintegrate for the day. Um, <laughs> She's what like, my counting on trying that. very hard. <laughs> <laughs> so, something to ponder over. Uh, the the vaults in the in the society, especially with the vigilant seal, uh, can likely protect your work even while you're working on other things. But we should probably check upstairs while you uh, before we strain you too much. Uh, Ali Reyes says, "Look, if you want to talk about the Grand Lodge and things, I'll hear you out." But once I've made up my mind, that's it. Of so course. let's get busy, guys. Let's finish. Mm -hmm. Let's get busy! So, to the stairs. They're grand staircases? Or is it... Uh, just a normal staircase. Just the one. Just the one. Yeah, this, yeah, this is a stage, basically. For concerts. Except if you go up to the but second they... floor where apparently the stairs go. I've never quite figured out this map. But with that, you ascend the uh, staircase that makes the most sense. I think of the that Black kid, yeah. Museum. The, the Black Rose Museum is not constrained by mere topology. Right, and the, and the floors aren't just ten feet high, I think. Uh, still, the, the stairs over there only go up five feet to like a little platform. So you come up the stairs, there's a long hallway, far to the north you see a bunch of uh, uh, stuffed creatures, a uh, small hallway deking off to the left, doors on, on the sides. Nico will go up uh, in here to get a better look. Oh, left doors down to the, the uh, left. The, yeah. Remember, the manual says always go left. Um, Yevin checks the first room. So, Yevin, you open up the door. There's two small desks laying on the eastern and western sides of a small study room. Uh, the desk hums with uh, sm with, with uh, unsettling low noise. It looks like there's a bunch of crafting and repair supplies scattered about and prototype golem frames piled up against the wall. Uh, the shelf on the uh, the shelf around the corner does seem to have some books scattered on it with several unusual uh, uh, s several unusual languages just peeking around the corner. Uh, Yevon will first check for anything dangerous and then go and peruse uh, the... Yevon, taking a look into the room, you do notice that the energy in this room seems a little bit off. Um, the wards seem to be a little bit destroyed. Um, anyone who would like to try can make an arcana, religion, or occultism check to attempt to either repair the arcane runes or um, quell the energies. It's open, Mike. 
There are buttons to uh, click in the chat. You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. I will hero point that critical failure. Mm -hmm. Was it Arcana, Occultism, and Religion? Yep. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh God. Another critical failure. Um, so with that, I will say that okay. both Ain and Valerie have to be in the room uh, yep. to be uh -huh. doing yep. this. Uh, I need both of you to make fortitude saves. Mm -hmm. Is this an auditory effect? Um, it is not. Um, I know there's a smaller number of that there, and by God, I'm going to find it. Well, that's a little bit better. Uh, yeah. So both of you will take... Uh, 16 points of negative damage energy as the energy lashes out and latches onto you. Um, Ain, you are in feebled one. Oh, yeah. uh, Valerie, you only took half damage. Sorry, okay. you, so, and I got it. uh, Valerie, you are in feebled one. Okay, yeah, oh, no, I will uh. Um, you don't have negative healing, right? No, I have resistance one. Uh, oh, no, it's just if you have negative healing, you take positive damage instead. Just checking. Ah. Um, I will, uh, I will take my potion. Oh, not damn. Wait, let me treat wounds first. Um, I'll still take them. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, anyways, now it seems that the energy in the room has been quelled. Mm -hmm. Uh, or not. One way to do it. Take the potion. We're good. So there then, are several uh, that books that, uh, while this is all going on, you can take a look at if you like. Uh, yeah, well, anybody... they are messing around with needles in the hallway. Uh -oh. Does anybody? <laughs> uh, does anybody speak any of Celestial, Requian, or Necrol as languages? Ooh. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, so not usually, not. but I could temporarily. <laughs> That's six points for somebody. I think uh, I, I think was... I did Ain first, and okay. I failed. So then that would be Valor. Um. So yeah, Yevon, uh, seeing that he does not understand these languages, would pull out his scroll of comprehend language. Um before trying to make sense of the materials here. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can choose one of those three languages. Uh, it doesn't really matter which. It just changes the DC slightly. Uh, and you can... Is... I'm so sorry. I was just going to say this is for Aim. <clears throat> um, looking at the table of contents... Um, you do see that there are some marked passages. Anyone who would like to attempt to decipher writing can attempt an Arcana, Society, or Religion check. Hmm. Do we have to read the language or just the... So, But you have to be able to read the language for that, right? So the only uh, person who could do it would be... Uh, no. Uh, would be Yevon, right? So Yevon's bonus will apply to everyone because they can point things out. Um, awesome. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah. I guess that should have been the secret. Hold on. Um, so, both KG, KG Page and Nikto are able to, to take the three books and, and put them together. Uh, and between that, you notice that there's a pattern. It seems like these books were used to hide some of it. Uh, you were able to quickly transcribe down some of the notes, and you believe that you found uh, another fragment of... Uh, Alarea's true name. Yep. Mm -hmm. well. uh, um, um, over the time that it took to do the research, the, I, I assume the Enfeeble sticks around? It does. Um, All right. Uh, she is going to pop her Wayfinder and remove her people condition. Hmm. Um, Fair enough. And at this point, I'll be that player and say, can we get a, a hero point and I think Paige is the main character, so... <laughs> I will say soon. Okay. 
Uh, Yevon will move to the next door down the hall, and uh, again, be cautious for s silly wards and such. Uh, roll a blind perception check. Uh, looking around, nothing in this room seems to be particularly uh, hazardous or dangerous. Um, there does seem to be some scraps of notes on the desk, if you'd like to take a quick look. Uh, absolutely. Um, there's a bunch of letters, some of them decades old, um, going through relatively briefly, spending a couple of minutes. Nothing here seems to be related. You do notice one that has the seal of the Black Rose family on it. Um, scanning hey. through it, it's a brief thank you note from Nigel Dane uh, for Alrea giving Nigel a tour of her manor and collections of magical items and artifacts. Is there a date on that note? So I think we know what happened. I will say it's one of the more recent uh, items on the, the desk. Mm -hmm. oh, because that gives us a window for uh, when whatever happens to her memory happened. Uh, you know that it was uh, months ago that this happened to her memory. She's remembered at least that much. Okay. Mm. Uh, opening this door, Evan, uh, if you'd like, roll another blind perception check. Please. Um, could I just ask, has it been an hour since we were in the portrait studio? Uh, since the portrait? No. It's been okay. probably, 20 to 30. We'll, we'll say 30 minutes since you've been in the portrait studio. Okay. Uh, so, Yevon, looking around this room, uh, you spend a couple of minutes. Um, you find a cantrip deck. It has five stabilized cards in one of the desk drawers, but nothing else of interest. Um, it just seems like this was a quiet reading room. There's a bunch of different tomes, um, although there are empty spots on the shelves. Uh, looking quickly at some of the books, a lot are focused on the plane of positive energy and studies of living constructs. Hmm. So you now have a cantrip deck. Mm -hmm. uh, with five cards of stabilize. Uh, Yevon will hold on to that. Seems useful. Shall we see what's in the next room? So. Mm. Yes. Oh, oh, hello. Hi. Uh, uh, you open the door. Uh, on the far wall of the room, there's a board covered in complex magical runes and geometric arrangements, some barely visible, nearly faded with time, as the room seems to be untouched. Uh, the desk on the eastern side is covered in books, dried up inkwells, and other uh, writing implements. Sorry, on the western side. Uh, there's spiritual energy pulsing around, wisps of airy magic coalescing, uh, with a semi-transparent humanoid form sitting patiently at one of the chairs facing the desks. Um, she sort of is staring at the desk. She turns around and looks at you. Do you have any news of my teacher? Yes. Yes, we do. Her memory has been restored. If you'd memory. like to talk to her, we can take you... Yes, if you'd like to talk to her, we can take you to her. I want to become a master of the arcane. I'm trying to resume my studies. Um, do you want to take her downstairs to see, uh, uh, Alarea? Uh, sure. Yes, yes, I would. Unless uh, anybody else in the party objects, uh, I'm, I'm all in favor of making friends. Who, you take her who downstairs. is your teacher, just to be sure? She says, Alarea. Okay. Uh, as you enter the front room, um, the, uh, the wisp looks at her. Is this some kind of sick joke? I'm not here to speak with some talking skull. I'm here to see my master. And oh. uh, rushes back upstairs to the uh, the room. Why would you take me to see such a silly skull? Uh, if someone would like, you can make a diplomacy check to make an impression. Yeah, yeah sure. so that is actually sure. is your um that actually is your master. Um, uh, they uh they are just in a different form currently. Fortunately, uh, so far, it believes both of believes all of you, even with the penalty. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, 
Our very charismatic party. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Barely succeeding, but yes. I mean, I could have lied to her, but mm. probably not helpful. Yeah, then we'll follow Valerie's lead. But he's not the most diplomatic. Not even a little bit. And, uh, Lucan <coughs> knows that he is the surly one in this party, and we'll just let the talking go to the five people with charisma modifiers that are above a plus mm -hmm. one. With that, she says, My name is Nebiot. Um, I suppose I'll help you if it means I can restore my great teacher. I heard a group run through earlier. They were ransacking the place. I think they headed upstairs to the tower, but I could only see a glimpse of them through the hall. I seem to be stuck mostly in this small area. The group was a spiky woman along with some weird clawed people. I don't know what they were after. I tried to stop them, you see, but they just went through me. I'm not far enough along in my studies to stop them with magic. Um, but I did master one thing. Um, looking at Yevon, not you, but one of the rest of you, can I offer you a gift? Mm. We would be sure. honored. Sure. sure. Uh, so who would step forward and take the gift? Uh, Nikto will. Uh, with that, she casts False Life on you and you gain 13 temporary hit points. Excellent. Mm. And now when you... Yeah, now, now when you said spiky lady, are we, are we talking like spiky hair, like a punk rock chick? Or are we talking like, you know, she had a bunch of spiky armor, like she's a Kiss fangirl? Or what, what are we talking? Or, or just prickly like Paige. Mm. No, not like the beautiful one. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's I so knew sweet. I liked you for a reason. Um. Oh, I know that there's something. Ah, uh, here, why don't you have this? Uh, and she reaches over to the desk drawer and with great difficulty opens it up, and inside there is a scroll of magic weapon. Maybe mm. this will help? I mean, much appreciated. Uh, well, with that, I think I will wait. If you restore my master, that would be fantastic. Uh, and with that, we're about two hours in. So why don't okay. we take a 14-minute uh, break? How does that sound? Sounds, Sounds good. good. All, right. All right. And then I just have to hop over and let's see if I can swap this. So everyone, we will be back in uh, at about half past. Got it.
and welcome back everyone um so our adventure will pick up with uh having chatted with a friendly ghost who did not believe that the skull was her master but through some diplomacy and some not even trying to diplomacy uh managed to convince uh Neviet that uh that they're here for good intentions, and she let them know that there were some strange people going around destroying things, walking through her, which was just very rude for the incorporeal. Uh, turning to the north, Nikto, you open and look into a room labeled Enchantment Auditorium. Uh, in front of you is a small lectern, uh, a small elderly Garundi woman dressed in typical Nexian garb seems to be standing at the podium on, uh, on the western side of the room before an empty lecture hall. The form itself doesn't move, but three obvious runes on the podium glow with a pulsing light, alternating between pale blue and rose. Uh, before the figure, magic shimmers over a sheaf of paper as if it were waiting, as if the figure were waiting to speak from prepared notes. Hmm. Uh, anyone who would like to take a quick look, um, if you're in view of the room, can roll a blind arcana check. Oh, and for uh, everyone out there in uh, watching on Twitch, uh, we decided to award a couple of hero points. Uh, first to Paige as the hero of the story, and then to Valerie for actually destroying things. Uh, yeah, Again, yeah. hair flip. Looking in, um, you notice that uh, this is a powerful example of enchantment magic, and your intuition lets you know that uh, when, when, you are, when you would enter the room, anyone who does... Um, will be subject to an extremely fascinating lecture um, that will likely just uh, take its toll on your mind. Anyone who would like to try and disrupt the lecture um, will be able to use intimidation, thievery, or dispel magic uh, to try and stop the, uh, the runes from activating. Uh, for the sake of it, I will put everybody into initiative order, but... Uh, oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he wants yeah, to roll so, for it. Um, yeah, or, just to put in put into initiative order, but uh, you all end up getting to go first, so it'll be in whatever yeah. order you so choose uh, before okay. the uh, the hazard will activate because uh, of a, a wonderful quick check. <laughs> mm. And it didn't really matter because the lecture rolled a natural one, so. Uh, if anyone would like to try Intimidation, Thievery, or Dispel Magic, just let me know who's going to go in what order. I, 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 some... I, uh, I would like to do... Actually, Thievery would be better for me, but I, I would like to argue that I could also use Academia Lore. <laughs> um, I will allow Academia Lore in place of Intimidation. Okay. Uh, Paige, you're up first, so go for it. Sorry, I should have done that blind. I uh, know it's, it's a disable check. check. It's a disable, it's a disable check. check. You're fine. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. uh, so who will who would like to go next? Yevon yeah, is uh, the better lecturer. This is no uh, finesse to this. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, Yevon does succeed uh, where Paige failed. It's more than failed. Well, yeah, because I tried to re-roll and then I went critical failure. <laughs> Good news is it's a disable check. You can't make the runes any worse. <laughs> Paige starts reinforcing the runes. <laughs> We've already triggered it, so there's nothing terrible to happen. Yeah. Uh, Valerie? Uh, Valerie is also going to try and dis uh, disrupt it through intimidation. Um, can Yemen have moved into the room? Yes, you'll all end up in the room. Uh, Valerie, that's a success. But, uh... mm -hmm. Hey, G and I can try and bust up this lecture with a little D. Snyder. Try an intimidating performance if we're not going to take it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with that, you do manage to uh, disable the third rune, so the trap does not activate. Mm. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, because it was kind of a fun trap. And I I didn't <sighs> even get a chance to yell at this thing, and I went, really really was looking forward to it. You're, you're like, most welcome to, to still yell at it. <laughs> what Was there an effect on its reaction? 
Um, so it actually doesn't have a reaction. It's kind of, well, it's, it's a little bit unique. Uh, you yell at it, but there's nothing left to yell at. Your, your paper yeah, yeah. brushes over a pile, uh, a sheaf worth of notes, though. Oh, take the notes. Teacher, uh, cousin, you're the one uh, handling these, right? Uh, yes. I so, will organize these notes. So you easily notes. collect uh, what is your, I want to say, fifth? Yeah, your, your fifth um, uh, sheaf of notes. Mm-hmm. That was rather anticlimactic. Well done. All because of the critical, <laughs> oh. critical success on an arcana check. Sometimes things like this have writing on them. It helps us learn things. Yes, yes, that's uh, that, that's what I learned in Pathfinder training. No, oh, yes, yes. You know, it's in those a shame classes, you didn't go to training to use that sword. <laughs> You know, I would have gone to training, but they wouldn't let me in. Uh, you do notice a plaque on the wall over here. It says Evocation Atrium. Oh, well, that's not alarming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, should we check to see what's behind this door first? Um, sure. Uh, heroically, you open up Nikto to yet another series of bathrooms. Uh huh. Nikto seems drawn. We know what we must do. <sighs> way to go, Valerie. Good way to go taking one for the team. Mm-hmm. It looks a little Listen, shitty. I, I have read more than a few stories of idols and holy Avengers hidden in toilets, so... Oh, the, the, the worst one I've ever heard of was the uh, water weird hiding in the toilet. Uh, there's, there's, there's worse in the uh, Rapanathak. I think uh, was it was it uh, the emerald um, buyer has a. Are you just gonna uh, walk in, cousin, or are you gonna look at these this uh, strange thing first? I looked first. Okay. Uh, as you step in, <laughs> you missed um, um, oh, God. the ceiling where you see inside the room um, there are are pillars um, with runes corresponding to acid, cold, fire, and electricity. Uh, with more central runes for sonic and force. The walls of the largest portion of the room each have their own extravagant mural, representing one of the four elements. Uh, The southern wall is covered by an image of an enormous caldera of an unknown volcano, a vast lake of lava that almost seems to glow intensely. The northern wall displays a vast coral reef, and light from the ocean's surface almost seems to dance. Uh, The western wall displays a yawning cave and the depths almost seem real, while the eastern wall displays a fierce tornado tearing through an open field as you enter the room. The image somehow perfectly captures the fury of intense winds. Um, The eastern portion of the floor portrays beams and circles along with complex equations, while the western portion of the floor is covered in sine waves and elaborate music notation. The ceiling above is painted with the four elements all blending, but the centerpiece uh, is a brightly glowing evocation room, which crackles with energy. Uh, A burst of cold fills the room um, as all of a sudden a few creatures emerge. And with that, can I have everyone please roll for initiative? Oh boy. Oh, oh, don't forget, guys. Hold on. (laughs) Oh, no, no, don't. Yeah. I already had it up. Yeah. Um... For my for my initiative, uh, Tim, are these things on that list I sent you? Um, let me double check. It would be. Um, it might be. Hmm. Elementals are on the list, so yes, they are. Awesome. Shannon, based on your initiative roll, you're going to go murder things in this fight. Yes. It's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> Paige, um, the area here fills with mist. Um, it's hard to see. What would you like to do? So that that area on this side is filled with... Um, sort of almost everywhere around, there's a frothing mist boiling out. It makes it hard to see. Everything in there is concealed to you. Okay. Um, 
Well, I can't leave my teacher in there alone, so I'll move here. Okay. Do I see anything or I can perceive? You, that you can see all the creatures. It's just concealed. The room's filled with a okay. cold, dark mist. Okay, then I I will. I, I don't know what this thing is, but I'm going to try to hit. Um. Uh, you swing at the creature, roll a flat check to see if you hit it. I did not mean to add the one. That was an accident. Uh, that's Ooh. fine. Uh, wanting to protect your teacher, you carve into it. Roll damage. Okay. Uh, importantly, it's flat-footed to her. Mm -hmm. So she should get sneak attack. Oh, I forgot about that. So roll damage again. That's, uh... Oh, okay. Um... Mm. Still isn't that it. Uh, oh, um, you weren't targeting it. Yeah, you're not targeting That's it. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I'll just roll the d6 and then add it. And, or do you want me to roll uh, again? Surprise attack is only for deception or stealth unless you have another feat. Oh. Uh, but you did not roll your stealth for initiative? Oh, I did not. No, yeah. I did not. Which I will yeah. point out, that is all now automated in Foundry as of the latest release. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, so that was a stride and a strike then? Yeah, so you still yeah. have one more action if you'd like. Uh, yes, I will attempt to strike it again. Uh, unfortunately, a 15 will miss. Yeah. That's it, I'm all done. Okay. Um, so it's now the creature in the south. Oh, does anybody have any attacks that have the water trait by any chance? Don't believe so. Can't okay. say that I do. Mm -hmm. I think I have one spell that might. Uh. Oh, the... Yeah. I did not prepare today, so never mind. Um, creature is going to come up behind Paige and uh, start lashing out with its tendril. Okay, I do have deny advantage, so I'm not flat footed. Uh, Foundry knows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just like Santa. <laughs> and Nikto, you're up. Uh, Nikto is going to spend two actions to uh, pull his uh, <clears throat> cat's eye elixir off of his belt uh, and to drink it. This does mean he does not have the crossbow out. And let me go use that. Use cat's eye elixir. All right. And Nikto is going to come on up and stop right about here. See this fella. And attack. Uh, there is this and this. You could do not four actions again. Oh, sorry, no attack. Ignore, uh, ignore the attack. Sad. <laughs> Sad face. Uh, it's going to refresh <laughs> that. Something weirds happened. All right. Let me go delete that because I don't get the fourth action. <laughs> Done. Unfortunately, Valerie, you're up. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, she's probably gonna do something quite similar, but mm. we're gonna start with, I'm gonna exploit <laughs> vulnerability on this back creature. Okay. That is a fail. Uh, so I apply a personal antithesis. Um, the 25 recall knowledge for my initiative. Can I throw it at that thing? Try and figure out what it is. Uh, sure, it's a mist stalker. Um... Tell me neat things. It's immune to bleeding, paralysis, poison, and sleep, and it can crush you with mist. Uh, it can also see through its own mist, so it is not uh, concealed to... Anything in the mist is not concealed to it. And the mist is coming off it, I think? Yes. All right. Cool. Um, Valerie is going to draw a cat's eye elixir and use it. 
And she's done. Oh. And Ain, you're up. Ain's uh, an um, battle ancestors are talking to her much more loudly now, and so she feels she must enter the fray. And so she will come here to flank this uh, weird water wispy thing. And even though she's enfeebled, she will try to strike him. Uh, you do manage to hit. You cut into the small creature for seven points. And then it will... Um, she will strike again. So she needs... Uh, actually, as a third action, she will... Um, put up her... Sword and go on guard. You listen. Well done. Blackjack, you're up. All right. Well, it seems like we're all ganging up on the one. <laughs> and they have some sort of concealment. So let's act together. We'll send KG into the room. 10, 15, 20. Uh, oh. Sun Foundry always give me trouble. Uh, he'll move to there. At the same time, we will target this one with a three-action magic missile. They rolled the one, so let's just roll 2d4. Uh, Count another seven. Sounds good. And that'll be the end of the turn. Yevin, you're up. All right. Um, Paige, my dear, would you move around, uh, get in position? Uh, he asks her to make a courageous advance as he casts his Inspire Courage. What do I do? What am I doing? What's courageous uh, advance? You can stride for free. Oh, sweet. Well, for a reaction. Has a reaction. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and having repositioned and inspired courage, he will finally make a strike on this creature. Uh, first, rolling a flat check. And you miss. And missing the flat check. That is just fine. He's here to support his allies. Uh, Wisp from the South is going to start lashing at Nikto with its tendril. You get slapped uh, by seven or seven points. A miss. And a miss. Uh, the first Miss Stalker will come south. They will target Ain. Um, first action, it is going to start solidifying the mist. Uh, Ain, I need you to make a reflex save. Sure. Yes. Oh. You become immobilized, and then it will lash mm. out at you with its tentacle. Your ancestors tell you to flee, but unfortunately you can't. You take 15 points of damage. Uh, the uh, second Mist Stalker will start off by solidifying Mist as well. Uh, targeting Paige, who just moved around. Uh, Paige, I need you to make a reflex save as it tries to compress the mist even harder into the corner. Okie doke. What? Uh, you managed to, uh, to shrug it off. Um, so all the, uh, all the area within this room is now difficult terrain. Uh, it will lash a Paige with its tentacle. That is a critical hit. Oh. 
Uh, you take 30 mm. points of damage, and it grabs you. Okay. And that'll end its turn. Paige, you're up. Oops, sorry. Oh, gosh. All right. I um, will heal you. Um, I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to try to keep hitting it. It just brought me closer, that's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, uh, I do need you to make a flat check because uh, you haven't taken a cat's eye elixir. Mm-hmm. Sorry, second. Oh, oh God, you, you stab the creature right in the eye, roll critical damage. The creature's made a bad choice with its life. Uh, you see a bunch of mist billowing out from it even stronger. Uh, the second strike will hit. Roll a flat check. Oops. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Uh, you are fine. Uh, with that, the creature is no longer holding you. Mm-hmm. And you uh, have so one action remaining. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hurt, though, so I'm just going to move up here by my teacher and KG. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. And hope that the foamy thing misses. Uh, the foamy thing will try and take a slap at you as you come forward. And hit. Mm. For nine points of damage, it will then take a slap at KG. Missing, and then reaching around a slap at Ain as it spins. Mm-hmm. Missing. Mm. Nick, do you're up. That will hit. I like it when Ken is muted. Uh, actually, I need you to roll a flat check to see if you hit. Or, uh, no, or you don't. You I took, took the cat's eye elixir. I was the first one to take the cat's it eye was elixir. Nikto and <laughs> Valerie took the cat's eye elixirs? Yes. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah, okay. Roll damage. All right. He's still there. So we're going to try that again. I'm using exacting strikes so that if I miss on this one, it do- my map doesn't increase on the last strike. Uh, that one will hit as well. Roll damage. It, the creature's not doing well. However, spontaneously, the second creature bursts in a... Uh, uh, yeah, the second creature will burst, and that is... Hmm. All right. Okay. So they apparently have some, uh, and uh, might as well try it. Uh, we are going to do map minus ten on the one right next to me, which yeah. unfortunately misses. You go to make your final swing, and then just this splash of water from the creature exploding uh, washes <laughs> over top of you, uh, making you just miss. Valerie, you're up. All right. <clears throat> Valerie is going to double move. Uh, note that it's difficult to rain inside the room. Uh, actually, these two squares are the only difficult terrain squares now. Oh, fine. Okay. D- double move still gets me where I'm going. Yep. Um, and I'm going to make a strike on this one. Sounds right. good. <coughs> uh, that will hit. Roll damage. And I'm done. Ain, um, you're stuck in place, but what would you like to do? Um, the first thing I'd like to do is seeing my friend, Paige, um, down, I would like to do a second level heal oh, on yeah. her. She's actually not quite down, but, you know, yeah. staggering. Very close. And I guess technically she's outside of the mist, so there's nothing saying... Uh, I want to double check. Well, I'm grabbed, so I have to do a flat check on the grab. Oh, yeah, that's right. Anyways. Are you, are you grabbed or are you immobilized? Uh, Looks like yeah, you're, you're, not, you're just immobilized. You're not oh, grabbed. Immobilized? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, 
So let me see. Creatures in the aura are concealed. Nope. Creatures outside the aura, for whatever reason, are not concealed as written. So that'll fire off. Yeah. Even though um, that's it's hard only to see twenty-seven, you. not twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, I took the twenty-eight, but I'll manually take the one off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And since I'm immobilized and not um, not grabbed. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, what's it called? Um, grabbed. I can't attack this thing. So. My last action will be to, um... Fueling Parry. <laughs> yep. On guard! That's it. Uh... And are your ancestors upset? I can never remember how it works. Huh? No, so I'm... Oh, yeah, so I didn't make a strike this round, so my AC is going to go down. Yeah. I already I hit the things, so. Uh, Blackjack, you're up. And potentially muted. Yeah, because he's talking. I can hear him talking. Mm-hmm. On mute, that helps, yeah. No. Uh, move up to there. See what's going on in the room. Uh, we'll cast Boost Eidolon on KG and tell him to attack that one down there. Uh, does there need to be a flat check on one, both, neither? Um, no. Um, this one's no longer in the mist. It is not concealed. Ah, okay. Uh, we'll try them. Oh. And we'll try a follow up. The follow up strike will critically hit. Her strike being a faint. <laughs> yeah. Come off guard! Here you go, KG! Uh, the wisp bursts. And that'll be the end of the turn. Yevin, you're up. I. Uh... Yevin will congratulate his group on a job well done so far. Uh, Let us keep it up and keep it going. Uh, I don't have my thing in here. Uh, Level 4 at 23 is a success. Yep. Uh, And then for... Two actions. Um, we'll do a forbidding ward. Um, so I'm going to roll flat check to target. That's successful. Uh, and I will say, and uh, don't let your guard slip. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I cast forbidding ward. On, on her and against the Mist Uh So the Mist Stalker is. Uh, is going to uh, solidify the Mist again. Uh, this time, Valerie, I need a reflex save, please. Sure. Are there any cool tags on Solidify Mist? Uh, there's the primal transmutation and water, which are all built into the roll card. Hi. Right, okay. Uh, it's it's for my my reaction, but none of that triggers. Uh, you yeah, do not manage to get stuck, uh, and you are unfortunately still immobilized. Um, it's going to lash out once with its tentacle at Ain. And then it'll follow through with a slash at Valerie. Which misses. Paige, you're up. Alright. Uh, and... 30. Uh, 30 feet will get you to here. Because it's difficult terrain. Oh, it's difficult terrain, that's right. Okay. All right. Roll 
roll a flat check. You hit, roll damage. Paige heroically runs in, carving up some more mist. You have one action remaining. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one, unfortunately, will miss. Yeah. Nikto, you're up. All right. Uh, I am going to... So does this mist go more... Yeah, this mist has to go far higher than I can jump, so I have no clever uh, athletics checks to avoid it. Uh... And because it is mist, it is difficult terrain even above. Mm-hmm. It's one, two, three, four, five... Six seven, so this will be a double move. Might as well go here so that page, so if it lives, page can get a flanking buddy uh, and attacking once. Which will unfortunately miss. Yep. Valerie, uh, you're up. Yep. Five ten. Fifteen twenty. Get the flank with Nikto. Make him tech roll. that one. I'll make another attack. That one will hit thanks to the flank. Awesome. Uh, for 11 one. damage, or Le more. Uh, it seems like your weapon did a little bit more damage. Yeah, I got oh. that personal antithesis yep. on it. Uh, Pain, you're up. Well, now... Um... Which I'm gonna have to heal myself. So uh, 26 minus 1 is 25. So do that. I feel like you don't and have then... to do a flat check on yourself, though. I'm pretty sure you know where you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Luckily for that, right? It's the little things. Um. New meaning to the phrase. Can't find your and ass then I will, hands in a lander. Yeah. I want to bond mod it, but I just don't think it's useful, so I'm going to put up my uh, sword again. Okay. Uh, and your ancestors are still <laughs> displeased. Blackjack, you're right. Yeah, they're not happy at all. They're yelling at me in my background. I'm, I'm hearing, you are cowardly. It's like, I can't reach them. They're like, that's no excuse. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Based on where we are and where he'd need to go, boost idle on and move. Close the Oh, if you talk a little. Yeah. Nine, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, 25, 30. He'll have to two move to get there. And then he'll just get one attack. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 50. That'd be 60 40. feet. Yeah, okay. That's 60 That's feet 60 to get him there. Feet, that probably can't get. So he's going to have to stop there and make an attack from there. And, you know, flat check. So. The flat Ooh. check is successful. I and the stab. Uh, and that will critically hit with the stab. Nice. Uh, KG runs in front of uh, of Valerie. Uh, a flash of the blade cuts off Paige's sword as it stabs into the creature. Ending the combat. There you go, KG! Oh. Loses more brain cells that way. Everyone alright? Uh, I, I... I'm... I'm... If I take ten minutes, so my, uh... You know, the... Yell less, less at me. Uh, that'd be great, but if any of you can treat my wounds, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Nikto will come on up to uh, treat your wounds, and uh, in the process of uh, getting you ready to do this and, and helping you focus, <laughs> will 
uh, with one hand, he will be treating your wounds. With his other hand, he will be demonstrating that, yes, he does, in fact, know how to so use that sword better than you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, Ayn, you feel the enfeeblement uh, release from you. Oh, thank God. Uh, and so this is for my instructor. Try to get him back up as well. And, uh, and Ayn, get nine hit points back. Okay. Thank you kindly, Paige. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yevin noticed these waveforms on the ground mm -hmm. uh, before these creatures so rudely interrupted. Uh, oh. if, if you'd like to take a look around, um, roll a blind perception check. Um, they're enthralling and engrossing. You, you spend the, the full 10 minutes, uh, looking at them. They sort of shimmer on the ground, uh, and you realize that this is, this room is representative of, uh, Alarea's interplay between, uh, the perception of music and life and how the elements all tie together. Oh, well, yes, we encountered this, uh, last time we were here, or not here, here, but when we were running around town for the skull. Um, quite clever, actually. Here, Blackjack, take a look, too. It be, uh, might interest you. Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm peek around. Here's what you guys might have gotten up to. And this is which? Find. And this was Arcana. Uh, perception. Perception, OK. Uh, oh, right, it's under a different section. <coughs> Attributes. There we go. Uh, Blackjack starts tracing around on the ground uh, for a couple of, of minutes. Uh, Yevon, it's just strange what Blackjack's doing. Uh, you realize that he's reading the music upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie, never, however, everybody read sheet music upside down. Valerie uh, just sort of turns away and sort of face palms, uh, and as she does, between her fingers, she notices a strange streak uh, in one of the murals. Um, hmm. Looking at the edge, she sees a break in the frame and, and ends up pulling out uh, a com uh, a slot from uh, a compartment in the wall, uh, discovering a piece of um, uh, of some notes. Uh, going around to each of the different. Uh, uh, murals in sequence. She manages to put together uh, four compartments and four pieces, uh, retrieving yet another piece of um, the puzzle. Uh, so you now have so that's one, two, three, four, five. I think that's your sixth. Yep. Yeah. Uh, your sixth piece of research. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Onwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the west. Looking to the west, you see a series of pedestals, uh, each containing different objects. Uh, underneath, there's a placard uh, saying where Alarea found it and uh, the magical properties of each. It seems like these are very basic objects that were used for studying the principles of magic. Take a oh. closer look, look, or or do I see any significance or? Uh, roll look, a look, blind look, perception it? check. Sure. Oh, I actually wanted to do something in the prior room real quick. Sure, go for uh, it. I wanted to use a nature check to see if those uh, water elemental thingamabobs were summoned by uh, Alaria's magic or were left here behind by whoever has been through this before us, if there's okay. any way to... Okay, roll a blind nature check in. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you're, you're just unsure. You know that there was a bright flash of light from the ceilings, and then the creatures appeared. It, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, looking around, Yevin, Ain, and Valerie, you spend 10 minutes examining the objects. It seems like this alcove here was initially placed uh, for newer students to come and be able to detect magic and feel 
the different types of magic uh, with different properties and different strengths. Uh, but none of the items here seem to be particularly useful or valuable, unfortunately. Mm. Was worth a shot. To the magical snozberries taste like snozberries. Keep alerts for more magical wards as we uh, move along. As you get closer and closer, right here on this pillar, you do note um, there is a sign that happens to say uh, Transmutation Showroom. Looking around the corner, you see taxidermic animals and beasts on display covering most of the showroom. Hmm. Nikto, for no particular reason whatsoever, just stops and waits to see if the, stuffed dino if the taxidermy dinosaur moves this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Roll a blind perception well, check, Nikto. Right? Mm -hmm. Did you play in one of my one zero ones, Nikto? Uh, you don't see anything from the dinosaur, but out of the corner of your eye, you do see something in the beak of the uh, uh, of the owl bear. Hmm. I see something. Let's let's go. Take a closer look. Well, thank you for saying to... something. Nikto is going to uh, have a sword in one hand and uh, have a hand that normally has the crossbow empty to pluck that thing out. Uh, as you attempt uh... to get closer, the room itself shifts slightly. I need you to make uh, either an athletics check to climb or leap, a crafting check to try and uh, uh, move items into the way, or an acrobatics check, uh, unless you have some other way that... Uh, you'd like to try and get to this creature because it seems to be magically shifting around. So is it everybody uh, or just it, him? Just him for now. Yeah. So just to point something out, Nikto has crazy abilities when it comes to leaping through the air. As soon as he starts to feel it leaping, uh, as soon as he starts to feel things shifting, uh, I will make an acrobatics check to uh, leap through the air gracefully, wings extended, uh, I can basically leap five feet straight up and 25 feet straight forward, all in one movement. Uh, as you get closer, it dodges ball. slightly out of the way. Roll another check. Okay, so 25 wasn't enough. I'm not saying That's that. Impressive. Or it's, multi it's a multiple skill challenge. Or yeah. it's a multiple skill challenge, yes. Um, it dodges a second time. You see the head start to oh. turn towards you, and it's almost like the beak is uh, snapping up and down. I just smile at it because this is this is how we play up in the mountains uh, outside of Bradway <laughs> and my tribe. Uh, Perhaps you need some assistance corralling. Uh, and with that, you manage to snatch the uh, piece of paper from the uh, uh, the creature's mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. So. To try and uh, to pry it away from the beak, uh, it will be thievery, crafting, or athletics. All right, thievery, itch, uh, thievery, and athletics are the same, so we'll try thievery because it looks better. Uh, the owl nods its head at you and opens its mouth. <laughs> I, I scratch the I, I, I scratch the feathers on the top of its on the top of its head. Uh, <laughs> Good game. Good game. However, it's like, that's rad. Uh, to the south, you <laughs> yeah. see a door marked um, saying scroll storage. Ooh. Mm. Oh, uh, Nikto knows that uh, if he opens this door, that uh, everybody's going to go charging in. So he opens the door and then steps aside to let everybody go charging in. Um, and then he charges in. <laughs> uh, looking inside, you find a uh, room filled with boxes each intricately labeled. Uh, a lot of them um, have different names. They seem highly experimental, uh, but you do notice one uh, that is not experimental, labeled uh, Scroll of Comprehend Languages. Mm. So Yevon can replace his Scroll of Comprehend Languages. Yes. Cousin? Would you like this? Uh, yes. Yes. So put why that is... Into so so why does this scroll say true strike seventh level disintegrate combined spell <laughs> that's a good scroll 
Um, <laughs> opening it up, you read it very, very carefully. Um, written in uh, on the top, uh, it's inscribed for destruction of headdress. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we got a whole box of them. Uh, so you have now retrieved uh, seven... And that's why we have two whole boxes of those scrolls. <laughs> you have now retrieved seven pieces of uh, of research, and there is a stairwell at the back end of the room leading up. I'm getting these hats for like 18 coppers a piece from, you know, a, a, a little switch... Uh, I mean, a, uh, a little cut rate shop in, in Avistan. <laughs> I, you know, it, it seems like overkill if she's spending that much money on each scroll to get rid of it. But... <laughs> Style matters. Yeah, uh, single file, friends. I mean, how, well, did we check everything in this room? In this in this level? Is there rooms to the south? We, did we check them all? Yes. Uh, yes. You have yes. checked all the rooms on this floor. Very well. Okay. Uh, I keep an eye on you, Nico. Do not try to get yep. away. Thought about a <laughs> spiky lady who went up in the tower. Uh, before I go up the stairs, I'm drawing the uh, repeating hand crossbow in the left hand and have the sword in the right. Sounds good. I'm sure nothing will be going on. I do plan on opening doors that way. Mm -hmm. With my teeth. I got wings. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm assuming Paige is ahead of me to open doors. <laughs> no, you moved ahead of me. <clears throat> uh... Paige, come on up. Ladies first. No, no. After you. <laughs> So with that, a group, the group of you walk up. Um, as you enter the room at the top, a shish woman stands up from the chair and turns her head. Uh, the tower itself, mm. 40 feet from above, there's a large circular room with couches, pillows, uh, documents uh, spread all over, magical equations, geometric designs on all of the walls. Pathfinders, what took you so long? I've been waiting for you to get through all those defensive and find all the research for me. Thank you for bringing it up. But now that you're here... I'll have to be taking whatever you have for myself. Mother needs me to bring her that research so that she can look up some true names and mix them all together. I don't entirely get it myself, but I don't have to. All I need to know is that you now have what I need for Mother, so I am going to take it. Mm. It was very nice of you to bring this all up for her, though. <laughs> It really was. <laughs> well, we did put we did hand the the first four research things to our share, right? No. Uh, to, first, uh, uh, first three, I think. Yeah, to Alderia. Yes. Um, are any of these things on my list, uh, Tim? Um, uh, let's see. I actually think the answer to that oh. is no. I'll double check. I guess technically humanoid is, but. Everything's a humanoid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't count that. Yeah. So, um, I'll, let me double check in case. No, it is not Tengu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, man. Thanks for double checking that for me. <laughs> don't know what I'd do without you. Uh, well, we all did see Douglas on uh, the last time we saw this map. So, Black yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Nikto and Blackjack, and then we can begin. Oh, that's why that didn't work. I rolled. I I, I rolled a uh, a fortitude save. Uh. Very quickly, she draws. Uh, she draws her weapon. Uh, looks at Paige out front, and will fire off a bolt, which misses. Ooh. Uh, and then she'll reload, and that'll end her turn. That's unfortunate. Okay. That would have been a cool thing if it hit. <laughs> that would have looked rad. Ain, you're up. He's not used to this going first thing. Um. <laughs> Usually she waits and supervises to get panache. Does that get more of them? Yeah, it does. Huh? 
Uh, Jeez, this corner. is the sunburst. Uh, I think bursts are from a corner of a square, aren't they? Okay, that's, yeah, it is. Uh, just wanna... Did I place it right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's... if you move <laughs> corner that square, right a corner right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I moved it to that spot. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that it actually ended up changing. Yeah, Maybe, those uh... three. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's out of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think if you, I think you can move it to this corner up here. You'll get the one at the top, as well. No, no, nope. I only get three. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those flush hopper premises did fail, so it should take fourteen. Yeah, uh, they did. Yeah. I was just doing Ooh. it twice. Uh, the Good. first one okay. bursts. Oh, nice. Uh, and you have one action remaining. I do. Um... Oh, why not? Oh, I have to go this way. Uh, I don't know. Page, you're up. Page. Yes. My turn? Yep. Setting up a flank for you, Page. And the boss lady uh, is flat footed, mm -hmm. will, will be flat footed too if you get to that flank. Yeah. love how I always have to use two moves for this, guys. Uh, as you run around, she slashes out with the kukri in her other hand. Ah! Uh, uh, Paige gets cut across the leg for ten points of damage. <laughs> she can reload with a weapon in her hand. I hate her. <laughs> Don't think a 19 will hit. Uh, 19 will actually hit. Oh, it'd be the flat footed. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you forgot to target her first. I mm -hmm. did, I'm sorry. And didn't you have sneak attack? Which, yeah. Uh, target her and then reroll your damage. Mm. There you go. That looks much better. Mm hmm. That's it. I had to do two moves to get there. Mm -hmm. Yevin, you're up. All right. Um, do my allies have their reactions? Uh, specifically, Nikto and or Valerie? Uh, no. Okay. Then I will go ahead and start with a lingering composition uh, to attempt this let's see yay that is two a arms my friends uh three rounds and then um we'll try this once more um and cast fear on the big boss so we'll say fear us yeah. Um, for VR Pathfinders. Mm hmm Uh. Well, sometimes that happens. All right. Well, I'd rather see that 19 on a saving throw than anything else. Mm-hmm. Uh, this creature's gonna stride down next to Paige. Funny, I was just typing that um, I love that putting me, setting me up for flank, put me in this corner with all of these bad guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Mm. With friends like hey. you, really, who needs enemies? For what is it I... worth, when I saw that was going to start happening, I was going to come up there and start cleaning up trash for you. I was considering having you move back. Heal you. Um, but you have that deny advantage, so I figure you yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. make some use of it. it. It's true. They're not, fl they're not getting, like, flat-footed on me, there are still three of them surrounding me. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Paige is the center uh -uh. of attention. Why would she not and, want... And yeah. hurting a hair flip. Remember, you're the hero in this story. As long as I survive, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh...
and the creature will, we'll say, I uh, will just do two slashes with the claw, why not? Two points, and it will cast shield on itself. Uh, the next one is going to stride to here, and it will cast Burning Hands. So I need the I need Yevin, Valerie, Blackjack, and KG to make saves. You know what? I'm going to spend a hero point because this sounds like a good excuse to use one. Uh, Nikto, you're not in the blast. Nikto is not in the blast, so. Mm. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, that. So Yevin, eight points of fire. Valerie, eight points of fire. KG, yep. um, that'll be eight points. Or no, KG will take four. Which I think. Uh, it depends. Wh depends whichever of us was worse. Oh, uh, he was worse. You were a 27. Okay, but uh, was, was KG a success or a failure? Uh, he was a success, so you take four points of fire damage. Okay, so collectively we take four. And Nikto, you're up. All right, well, this, uh, quick question. I didn't have my reactions, so darn it. Didn't get my AI off when he, tried, when he cast a spell. But. We can make that a less of a problem. That'll mm. hit real damage. Uh, level one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, on my second action, I am going to go into point blank stance. Ooh. And on my third action, I am going to target this one on the far side of page with the repeating hand crossbow. Mm -hmm. Uh, you fired off that hits. Stealing pages kill. As is tradition. As is tradition. <laughs> and as the last thing I say, you're welcome. <laughs> Valerie, you're up. All right. Uh, Valerie is going to try and uh, exploit vulnerability on her. Success. Yeah, I passed one. Um, does she have a mortal weakness? I doubt it. Uh, no, she has no weaknesses at all. And no resistances? None. Okay. Then apply a personal antithesis, and what's the recall knowledge on her? Uh, it will be society. Uh, I get a free one for yeah. succeeding at uh, exploit. Yep. It's the 25. Yeah, the tw uh, you oh, use the, the 25. 25. Uh, the 25... Uh, you can't identify them personally with the 25, but uh, you know that the they're, they're a shisk. A shisk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And from cool. the eyes, you can tell they're also a changeling. Oh, that's... Oh, wow. Two new tags for my book. That's a lot of ACP. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, I will stride here. Oh, come on. Don't draw. Don't draw. There we go. Uh, to get the flank, but she has cover, so I'm getting a net one on this. And I'm going to try and slash her. Oh, sorry, oh, she has lesser one. cover, not full cover. I clicked the wrong button. Mm -hmm. Let me try one more time. There we go. Yep. I will you? hero point that. Mm -hmm. Did it count the flank? It does. Or okay. might not. Yep, it's all accounted like it. for. Yep, I figured it did. Just want to make sure. Let's try. Yeah. Uh, that will hit. An actual hero point. Yay. Mm -hmm. So she whips the shards of her sword around and slashes her. Mm -hmm. And I'm done. Blackjack, you're up. All right. So we'll act together. Send KG around this cabbage over here. A25. And in the meantime, he'll cast a three action spell. Three different targets. 
<laughs> Let's see. We'll start with the one up at the top. Uh, that will hit. Roll damage. And then this one here. Hmm. Second one. You forgot that spell could do that, didn't you? <laughs> That'll hit. Roll damage. Better. Oh! Nice! And the third one on this one down here. Which will hit. Roll damage. <laughs> Blackjack feels pretty heroic at this point. Yeah! Right! <laughs> Pyrotechnics, baby! Yeah! Uh, the creature on the far <laughs> side <laughs> is going to fire off a force bolt at Blackjack. Aww. Hmm. You gotta for, hate. For four points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. We'll draw a potion and drink it. Dean, you're up. Well, you're in my center. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I will come up here um, and target uh, the one I'm flanking. I will look at him and go. I think you bit off more than you can chew. And I will try to intimidate it. 14's not going to do anything, though. Um, will not, no. And then I will uh, strike. Just opens its mouth at you and makes biting motions. Yeah. Uh, and you critically hit it. Yeah. Severing it right below the jaw, its uh, yeah. <laughs> head rolls off to the side. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you're up. My battle ancestors are much happier with me this, this, this minute. Oh, there is still something in here. Okay. I was yep. like, what? Why? Uh, I will move. Oh, shit. Disappear. I can't, I, can't, I can't see it, right? It's invisible. You just know what square it's in. Okay. Uh, so you're welcome uh, to attempt to attack it. And uh, it's just a DC 11 flat check. Mm -hmm. That will... You can certainly roll your attack <laughs> against the poor AC-15. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. I have that a bunch of hero point. points, like two, so... Might as well re-roll that. Can't take yeah. him with us. Yeah. <laughs> you may roll critical damage. <laughs> Paige makes a flash of swinging over top of the creature's head, flicks the wrist, comes back, and... Uh, Finishes off the creature. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't think there's that... anything else in here, right? That will end our combat. Uh, okay. You do find five spell books, five sets of thieves' tools, uh, and four mm. undrunken invisibility potions, as well as a hand crossbow, uh, plus one hand wraps of mighty blows, and a kukri. Mm. <laughs> wow. Uh, and I will say you also find uh, an eighth piece of uh, of uh, research. Hmm. Here you go, cousin. Uh, the kukri itself is in a decorative scabbard, and it has uh, hmm. inlaid gems. It's probably worth about five gold. Yeah. Hmm. It's amazing how those uh, decorative gems smell out TV for treasure bundle. <laughs> yeah. It's in a different language, though. Cousin, in the language of the ancients. Paper? Page, you can heal up your... What's that? What do you need Page, to you can, uh, you can uh, heal up your... You've got a soothe spell cast on you by Blackjack. So click on the oh, button for you. heal. Well, let's uh, take these back down to uh, 
to Aria. Our little skeletal head uh, patron. And perhaps we can head back to the next lo Nexian Lodge. I'm really getting, you know, I'm, I'm missing Brevoy. <laughs> uh, so you descend and... back down, and Elaria says, Where have you been? Also, you must have done something, because this has been much easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we took out the pointy took... ringleader. Uh, she's like, uh, because you've found enough of the research, uh, I can teach you a command word so that anywhere in the uh, uh, in the building, uh, if you speak it, you'll heal 2d8 worth of positive energy. Uh, mm. Also, I have enough that I can channel, and I will give you... Uh, a two-action command word it takes a little bit more, but it'll give you quicken for one minute. Mm. Oh. Hey, remember how I said we should have come back earlier? Oh, this yeah. would have been really useful. <laughs> yeah. We did the achievements, Ron. We like, uh, <laughs> we are very skilled. Um, three of us are trained at all your swords, uh, Lord, so one of us is a, uh, masquerading as one, and, uh, we have two that uh, seem to tag along with us. We're not sure why. One of them... He is an Aldori dueling sword. Come on! And he's a bigger oh, sword true. than you. I suppose an ogre can use it. He has to use it. He uses it himself. That's the, mm. the Aldori dueling sword. Mm. So, Alaria, uh, now that we have dealt with some of the hazards here, is there anything else that we... Are there any other... Do you sense anything, any other hazards that we need to uh, deal with here? No, I think that we've got everything held together with all of my notes. I think I'll be able to take care of things now. Would you, uh, would you like me to carry you through the upper floor so you can restore the magical sensors for your uh, scrying room? That would be wonderful. Uh, and so you take her through the building. As you get up to the top, um, the top of the tower, um, and you re-enter the... Uh, 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 as you re-enter the, the third floor of the upper tower, um, she says, I recommend, recognize this one. She's the one who interrupted my name erasure ritual. She's the one who made it fail. Huh. Seems like in a, it's fitting that she lost her head, too. Well done. Mm. <laughs> mm. This one here, her name was Liaskra. She was asking around about my research, so I tried to look into her plans. Um, I seem to recall that Aslan apparently wanted to somehow learn to cook multiple true names, boiling them down into raw material and combining them, and molding individuals. This is why I ended up hiding things. Huh. I just Sounds gotta good. ask, who, who, did, who did Aslan get busy with to get give birth to a porcupine lady? Well, whoever they did it, they did it cautiously. I seem to recall a song about this. Um, something about the buggering hedgehogs. Mm. Uh, Another yeah, song about having to do certain things gently, but uh, we're not going to do that on a public stream, I don't think. No, oh. no, no. Uh -huh. in, in, in academia, there is a phrase that is referred to as uh, going as slowly and as cautiously as porcupines making love. Mm. Uh, you should look up the songwriter uh, uh, Nanny Og. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I will ask you, uh, you seem to have completed things within the, the building. Is there anything else that you would like to do before returning to the lodge? Uh, I would like to... Uh, Convince uh, Alaria to come with us to the Grand Lodge and have the Pathfinders help her on her research and help keep her safe while she's doing so. Hopefully other people with uh, better diplomacy skills will follow that lead, but, you know, we'll give it a try. Yeah, you we got to talk um, her into this yes, concert tour and convince her to go teach that sad little ghost kid upstairs. And... You uh, really, you really should join us. Uh, we have lots of knowledge in the Grand Archive. Uh, and you would, could become one of us, and uh, or if not, at least an ally, and we could lean on each other um, uh, to, with with our. We have lots of knowledge, and that we find uh, in a very innocent and non uh, non uh, exploitive ways. Uh, I think we've also more than proven our competence at uh, yeah. being able to handle multiple tasks. 
Yes. So Where do you, you meet our head librarian? She used to dress like Elvira, but then they gave her a facelift and took like 20 <laughs> years off her face. And it's it's a whole thing. But you, you'll love her. She's great. Uh, so you each get attempts to make two skill checks. Uh, you can make diplomacy to request, uh, deception to lie, intimidation to coerce. You can try impress her with knowledge of arcana or occultism. And you can, one person may make one Pathfinder Society lore check. Um, to try and convince her of how safe Skyreach and the Grand Lodge is. Could I use, given that she is an academic, could I use academia lore? I'll allow that for the uh, same as for the knowledge of true name magic. Okay. Um, I, I'll do the Pathfinder Society one right now. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I'm an expert in that as well, If but if you are better at it. Oh, no, if you're an expert, you do it. I will yes, do I, I'm, I'm in fact an expert at Pathfinder Society lore. I will do my second diplomacy check then, because I already did one. Oh, um, you can't take him with, him with you. Okay. So okay. here's my society check. So 28. Yeah. Pathfinder Society. And here's okay. my mm -hmm. diplomacy. I will reroll that. Yevin will yeah. fall after Valerie's expert mm -hmm. uh, example and uh, convince that we are really quite safe and competent as a organization, despite what this group... Um... And it's completely safe. They'll never send you anywhere where it's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so one more check from Yevin and one more check from Paige. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Nikto gets to make his too. So, Bam. don't listen to the barbarian. All right, uh, and finally, at the Pathfinder Lodge, rather than having to watch all of these lectures through your scrying devices, you'll actually get to be in the auditorium and able to ask questions directly. Okay. There's an academia lore. Uh, and, uh, and really, it's just a very nice place to be. We've, and I realize that this is, you know, given your current state, perhaps it's a bit more important as a, as a percentage of body mass, but the dental plan is incredible. Hmm. I'm assuming I can't just roll the lore check twice, so... <laughs> You could have, but oh, that'll still okay. be a success, thanks to diplomacy being uh, lower. <laughs> uh, and then Blackjack is last, but uh, certainly not least. Yes, absolutely. And if you hate it at the Grand Lodge, you can come out on tour with us. We know your secret goal is to be a stand-up comedian that is beloved by the entire world. You can either you can warm the, the crowd up for us, or you know, hey, we'll 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 you can be the headliner, and we'll warm up the crowd for you. She's like, I believe <laughs> I'm in an adequate King. position to be a headliner. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on the on the crowds, on the places. I mean, you know, Port Peril, they love us there. Yeah, we we'd be big there. Uh, and then we'll or same thing. The music is playing. <laughs> I can tell that uh, Tim is using his uh, mouse pad. Come on! <laughs> oh, you wanna? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, so you've scored uh, eighteen um, persuasion points to try and persuade her. You got fifteen from rolling because there was only one check that did not succeed, um, and you gained an additional three points for finding all eight pieces of research. You needed a total of six. Um, <laughs> however, so she's, due to, to, so she's going to be joining Team Aldori for future adventures. Isn't she? Uh, unfortunately, due to Blackjack's final joke, I'm subtracting his roll, so you end up with negative thirteen points. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh, he wrote the adventure. We have to joke. believe him. Uh, uh, Paige, you have lied to me. Could you sense motive on that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Elaria asks you to take her to the divination chamber where uh, she asks everyone to help other than Blackjack to stand outside of the rooms. Um, <laughs> she begins going through the notes and you just sort of watch. Occasionally she asks for a little bit of aid, but uh, all of a sudden you see the eyes flash. She's like, I remember. Um, she speaks her true name. A brilliant arcane light bursts forward from the skull as the light fades. Sitting at the desk in front of you is a small elderly Gurundi woman dressed in flowing desert robes, bearing the symbol of a Nexian Arc Lord. She quickly rummages through a bunch of shelves and books, and uh, she's like, I think I can go and restore things. And you just sort of watch and follow her around as she restores all of the runes. Um, she's like, thank you for finding all this information. It's made this much, much easier. Um, perhaps we can go back and speak with your, uh, um, uh, speak with your venture captain. Yeah, do a climb? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, seven. Uh, the Vash for Tom. Vash for Tom. Vash for Tom. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And, uh, you know us small people gotta stick together. There is no art for once she's restored to her true name, and I didn't want to put something in because I'm sure that in one of the upcoming ones there'll be actual art for her. But, I was about to um, ask if there was art for her. That's yeah, surprising. Uh, yeah, there's there's not. I was really disappointed when I was putting this together. It's like, oh. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you can return to the lodge and just imagine that uh, the skull is, in fact... Um, a lady. An old Arc Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she comes in and the Venture Captain's uh, a little bit surprised. Who have you brought here? Um... Uh, and this is Alria. She's willing to be a little bit more hands on in assisting the society. Can't you tell? Oh, that was awful. With that, uh, she snaps her fingers and casts silence. That will take care of that problem. Um, yes, I'm, I'm happy to help out. Um, uh, you see the venture captain. She looks a little bit floored. Um, she's like, well, this is certainly due for some sort of reward. Let me see what I can offer you. And uh, Alria's like, what is, is, is my, uh, is my, my being here not simply reward enough? Perhaps they've invited me to go and headline for them. Although now that I have some hands and feet, I can probably do more. Uh, speak up. Tell me what you'd like. Oh, tongue tied, huh? That's unfortunate. Uh, the venture captain comes back and she passes you a Ganjay book as well as some oxygen ooze as rewards. Mm -hmm. The hell? Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate that. Well, that's fun. <clears throat> that's a fun item. Um... So with that, um, you <laughs> completed the primary objective by recovering at least five research fragments, enough to uh, return Elrea to her true form. Uh, so you earned two reputation with your chosen faction. Uh, you defeated Liastra and stopped her from getting her hands on the rest of the research, so you, you gain an additional two points. Um, you managed to collect all eight fragments, completing the Envoys Alliance uh, uh mission, so she trusts the society as much as she really can, so you gain two there. And you convinced Elrea to keep her research safe at the Grand Lodge, so you'll gain an additional two reputation with the Vigilant Action Seal. And so with that, we will wrap up our Aldori shenanigans for the day. Um, All right. I will let you know, for the purposes of the reporting sheet, uh, you gain both the Ganjay book and the Oxygen Ooze um, as items that you can now purchase. Yeah. Neat. None, nice. none of the other cool stuff you get to keep. Mm. And so All with right. that, for everybody who's out there on the streaming, um, we will give a round of applause to Paige. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, uh, And silence to everyone else, as is deserved. <laughs> as is deserved. <laughs> uh, so thank you all for playing. Thank you for uh, your donation to charity as well. And, um, yeah, it has been fun. Uh, hopefully everybody out there watching has enjoyed, and I'm sure we will see you next time we play. So thanks, everyone. And for everyone else um, 
in about an hour and 40 minutes or so. I do have the release stream scheduled to show off some of the little things that we built into releases 4.8, 4.9, and 4.10. So um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and uh, be back to uh, show off some of the cool new features, uh, some of which, if you were very astute, you would have seen in action today. So thanks okay. to everyone, and uh, have a good day. All right. Have a good Thank day, you. everyone. Bye-bye. Good one.